Welcome back, everybody, to Waterdeep Dragon Heist. This is episode three of the game. We're here back once again with Logan, Colton, Spencer, Tim, and me, Jacob. I am the dungeon master for tonight, and hi, everybody Jacob. else is playing there. Hi, Jacob. <laughs> uh, hi, my name is Jacob, and I, I suffer Jacob from alcohol. <laughs> You suffer from alcohol? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I suffer from it. I drink it and it just hurts. No, I suffer from I the side stop. effects of alcohol. Um, Particularly the we got ones. character info uh, below the, the people, so we don't have to bother introducing all that stuff. But I dropped last. one of my easy roller dice. Oh, oh, I dropped two of my easy roller dice. Easy roller <laughs> dice, guys. Roller the coupon dice. code in the description to get 15% off your next purchase. Whoa, 15% off? 15% off beard oil. Uh, dice. I need that. Dice bag. My my very own father just bought me a uh, the bag of like one pound of dice. He <gasps> saved two dollars. Can your Dang. dad do that for me? <laughs> That's cheating. That's the cheating dice. Yeah, I know, but I my dice bag is not full, and I need my dice, dice bag is full of losers. I have a problem. <laughs> that is true. And these two magic dice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, why you can't use those. those. <laughs> they don't roll right. Seventeen and four. <laughs> <laughs> That's the full spectrum. Um. So yeah, nice. check out Easy Roller Dice. Um, and our merch store. And we have a merch store. <laughs> Buy some XP to level 3 merch. Socks, specifically. Mm -hmm. Buy the socks, yep. Oh. We're going to have a new design up on the store pretty soon. Um, Pasty's coming soon. Mm. Pasty. <laughs> oh. I was actually wearing the prototypes during the last Test Ride game. Yeah. Nice. Uh, without further ado, jump into this game. <laughs> uh, Mycroft. Doesn't sleep. You are, yes you do. Otherwise, you're going to suffer exhaustion. I spelled my phone. You're asleep at night in your room in the attic. And uh, as you're sleeping there, um, you hear your door creak open just a bit. You kind of rumble awake just a bit. And you watch as something enters the room. It slithers in through the door. This head kind of makes its way. It's not on the floor. It's actually in the air as it makes its way in. And you watch as this serpentine tongue kind of spills outwards. And uh, inwards uh, comes this uh, snake, and it has uh, wings as well. Has been Is it a flying sex snake? It's a flying, it's just a flying oh. snake, um, <laughs> and it and it kind of moves through the air like gracefully, like it's like it's like uh, like wriggling, but there's no reason for it to because it, it just stays aloft. Um, uh, you see a parchment tied to its body as it kind of um, makes its way over towards you, and the part in the um, the the. The rope around the, the snake kind of untangles and falls onto your bed as the snake slithers its way out the front door. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. The whole time I will have been breathing loudly enough to where it's not like I'm awake and holding my breath. It's okay. like a real acting. And the minute passes, nothing else happens. Check the note. You open it and read it, and it says... Want to be a part of something big? Speak to Dabble Starsong at the Yawning Portal. Continue resting. The night continues on. Windows rattle as the roar of an explosion fills Troll Skull Alley. Charred bodies and anguished screams fly through the air. A thick cloud of acrid smoke billows outward from the blast, which seems That's to have occurred cool. right outside your door. That's so a really cool this photo. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? There's this <laughs> explosion. You can hear people just running and screaming, and uh, there's just chaos happening in the street, literally right down the front of the road from you guys. Um, the windows to all of your room <laughs> spill open, and you can feel heat kind of enter inside, and ash kind of slowly spill inside of the um, uh, your tavern and your rooms. I will duck for the ground. You duck for the ground. Um, the, the rumbling slowly subsides, but there are still people just running and screaming. Can I uh, run up? Wait, are we all in the same space? Or are we all in our rooms? Wow. You all are in your rooms. Okay, can I run up to the top of my turret and look out into the street? You, uh, yep, you run out and you look out into the street. You see um, uh, a building just a few blo a few buildings down. Uh, there is this uh, massive impact of ash, and there are still just a few things lingering with a bit of flame, but they slowly dissipate um, as uh, everything is no longer on fire. Uh, there's just ash and uh, the remnants of an explosion that was once there. And there are people looking around and, like, freaking out. 
is, can you point it out on the, on the map? Like which one it is? Or is it like T2? I T3? can. Uh, <laughs> do you see where you're, you are on T1? Yeah. Yes. If you, uh, so if you see North Entrance, mm -hmm. and if you There's go down and it, in between South Entrance, the building right next to near T four in between there, it was in that square. There's like a little square in there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and it that's where it was. Okay. Just in general in that square. Yes. Okay. Um. So. I so like your wall. building's here, and then it it, it yeah. goes in like this, and, and then it turns this way and it goes out. It was like right in here. that square. Yeah. So no buildings are on fire. There's just this explosion that happened. Okay. Um. Ira will hop up. Okay. And uh, out of um, basically out of his chair. And uh, pull out his book and cast a spell on himself. He'll cast mage armor on himself. <laughs> He'll say, well, uh, time to see how well this works, I guess. And grab his dags and stuff and leave his leather left in his room. All right. Uh, Mycroft, are you doing anything? Staying low to the ground. All right. I'm going to go find my brother. Uh, you sleep in the same room? No, we do not. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> you move and you go up and you pass Ira uh, moving down the hallway. I was just moving past you. you. You pass her. I'll, I'll stop. I'll, do, you, do you know what's going on? Yep. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, as soon as I I'll see that, I'll yell down and be like, "Guys, explosion in the square!" Well, right, I'm gonna go downstairs then. I guess we right. should uh, find out what's going on. I'm going to, to um, exit through the window. Okay. Um, make a acrobatics check. Oh, I also uh, attach my uh, cloak. Very nice. Eighteen. Oh nice. You uh, you spill open the window and you grab on it with one side and you look down and you slowly just kind of drop yourself and you roll once you hit well, the ground. Well, no, I'm going up onto the rooftop. Oh, you're climbing. Okay. I'm in the attic. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, then <laughs> make an athletics check then. Ah, fuck it. You get around and you kind of do you you like um you, you grab on the edge again and you look up and you just hoist yourself up to the roof and you push yourself up and you're now on top. I'd like to um, travel. Are you still in the turret? Yeah, I'm actually. You gonna, see Mycroft pull himself up on the roof. I'm actually gonna be like, that's a, that's a good idea, and then I'm gonna <laughs> cast Mage Armor and jump, jump down onto the roof. Yes, Easy like enough. roof by roof. Where's so, the turret? Are, are you, you two above me? Two on the ground. I, I think I'm probably a little bit above you. Like the what, the I'm, bit like, the like, troll school top, right? the troll school manor is is has the roof on top, and then on one corner there's there's a there's a turret. Okay. So it's like a watchtower, basically. Okay. And you pulled yourself up to the top, and he's in the turret, and then he jumped down to the roof as well. So you're both on the roof of the manor. I think we should leave right now. Yes. I like your initiative. Let's do that. Rooftop to rooftop. That's so <laughs> awesome! So going cool, very cool. Away, away! Oh, no, I meant towards. Mycroft. Enjoy your funeral. People might need our help. People might be dying. Yeah, that's... We could be added to that list. Look, one fireball is usually followed by another. Are we, one, uh, yeah, one, one already went off. We just gotta go. <laughs> as, we as got you people, guys, as you guys people are, are going to need our help. As you guys are arguing, you see the two of us. Yeah, if I if I see you start running, you see, uh, yeah, Aryan and um, and <laughs> as, I'm, as as you go, Ira, see just Ira, moving down the street. His cloak is billowing dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> he I, looks so look, cool. <laughs> I, I gotta go. I gotta go. I'll start running. Rooftop, rooftop. You're gonna rooftop for rooftop? Yeah, uh, make an acrobatics check. Okay. Parkour. Parkour oh, check. I'm gonna go so bad. Do I see him doing this? Um, no, he's behind you. Just remember. And there's chaos. There's like people moving past you. Yeah. Some people cover nest. <coughs> they're just like coughing, and there's uh, there's uh, lo there's lots of smoke and ash in the air. So, so I've invested too much time into these people um, I'm following. Okay. So what do you think it is? An eight for athletics. Athletics? Mm -hmm. For rooftop jumping, you can use acrobatics. I have a plus four to athletics and nothing in acrobatics. Oh! What'd you get? Uh, nine. <laughs> nice work, both of you. Um, wow, you got on that roof really cool. Let's go. Huh? Yeah. You, <laughs> That's how, I, how I, uh, you turn and you run and you go to the next roof and you you uh, the top to troll school manor is like is like in an upside down V. So you jump and you jump onto another building with an upside down like a V. It's not flat. And you jump over, uh, and you you land your feet and you <laughs> begin to slip and you're kind of just like holding yourself on, um, just about to to fall. You jump at the same time, you run over and you jump, and you just <laughs> grab onto the side, and you're like so large that you're like holding on to just the edge, and you both are just like, <laughs> just standing there. And we see none of this. If you couldn't tell, I'm not very comfortable right now. You can try to roll again if you want. Oh uh, yeah, that was just 
warming up, you know? This, this is our morning coffee. Let's call it While that. While they're doing that, I'm going to um, pull out <laughs> like, a random like article of clothing from my, my bag, and mm -hmm. I'm going to like wrap it around so that some of the smoke cool. doesn't get yep. yeah. Oh, that's, that's um, very smart. I'll take a dagger and I'll cut a piece uh, of cloth from very my nice. bag. Cool. extra clothes. You could have... 19? Uh, 21. It's not, it's oh, not cool. Nice so you both are just like sitting there. Uh, Seymour, you go over and you, um, you you look down and he's holding onto like a pipe. You kind of push your foot onto the pipe that gives you enough momentum to push yourself up and jump. And both of you just run up the run up the side and uh, jump up to the next roof. Uh, and you roll, uh, you do a roll, you just like land yeah. and you like keep running. Um, and you're just following them. As, I do uh, like the whole gland. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a, a, like a pan of these two making their way in, and you guys are like, hoo, hoo, like jumping from roof to roof, and it just kind of moves over to you guys. Um, you make your way in. There, it's like foggy and ashy. It's still, you're still able to see. It's just lightly obscured as you're moving your way along, and some people are trying to clear out. Um, and you see the scene before you. Um, this just crater. Um, uh, it's, it's not. It, it, it hasn't broken the ground, but um, it's there's just been an explosion that's pushed everything outwards, and you can see a few charred bodies. <clears throat> Some of them not completely burnt, but just enough to be Does dead. Does anyone look hurt but not dead? Um, no. No, everyone's... It, the people who were hurt are are either suffered very minor minor injuries or died as soon wherever the the um, the the, f the, the yeah. explosion was. Can I roll perception slash investigation to note if there is anyone that seems to be injured, so to say, to be able to, to do something like cause a blast of fire? Um, looking for a mage, basically. Okay, make a perception or investigation check. Can I, um... Are you, are you looking on at yeah, the crime scene? I'll, like, I'll, like, kind okay. of I want look to... for clues. There, or there are, person. um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten bodies. Ten okay. bodies? Can mm -hmm. I, um... Okay, I'll just look for anything that could pertain to information regarding why this fireball blew up. Okay. Can I see if there are any members of guilds here? Like... Mm -hmm. who, who's been affected by... Are you just going to look through the bodies? Yeah. Okay. That's a 16. 16. You look around, you don't see anybody that could be a mage, perhaps. Uh, that You could investigate the corpses, um, if that's where you're looking. But you, as you two begin to look through the corpses, <laughs> you see <laughs> Seymour and uh, Mycroft land on the building above, and you guys are kind of looking down, watching them as they kind of go through the bodies. Look, how did you guys... Mycroft, come down here and help me with this. This is what... You're better at this. I don't know. Uh, easy enough. You just kind of uh, crawl down along the side and parkour your way down. <clears throat> Do I find well, anything? Or? If, it, if fireballs are anything like lightning, yes. it won't strike here twice, and we are safe to collect mm -hmm. the wealth of the dead. That's not always true. Also find out maybe why they're dead. There are or some people who are, who are still in the street. There's like maybe two, four or five people who are kind of all looking like confused at what's going on and they're trying to look at... So there's, you're not alone. There's people here, but they're not like getting involved. We also probably you find... Yeah. You find you go to one body. Should grab uh, it is an elderly mouse. female human, and she's like she's just charred, like completely burned. Mm -hmm. um, you do find you go over. There's two more, two cloaked male humans, and what you do notice, uh, make a perception check. And I am collecting the wealth of the deceased. Okay. Nine. Nine. Uh, you don't seem to notice anything about them. They're just hooded. Um, there are two female humans. Um, are you coming down as well, Seymour, or are you staying up on the roof? Uh, no, I'm coming down as well. Okay. Sorry. Um, I'll probably join her. You, you all, as you're kind of looking through the bodies, notice these things. There's an elderly female human. Um, there were, uh, there's two cloaked male humans. There are two female humans. Well, and elderly Any notable, female. um, guild symbols. Make a perception check. So two female humans with an elderly female human. Two cloaked male humans. Two cloaked male humans. Yes, one elderly female human. <clears throat> he was in that crevice. 17. You go over to the two cloaked male humans, you begin to like picking through their body, and you pull up a, a, a sleeve, and you see um, 
a black a black winged snake tattoo. I'll go over to the two female humans there. Um, investigate. Sorry, there are eleven bodies. There are two female humans and one male half elf. They are dressed in plain clothes. Okay, I'll go to the two female humans. Look at the half okay. elf. Okay, you can investigate their body. The half elf. They're both. From what you guys can tell, they kind of look like they're, um, uh... 17. 17? You can't... They don't have anything on them. They, uh, if they did, they probably burned, but there doesn't seem to be much there. No coin at all. Um, nope. Uh, except... You can't find anything, Minecraft. Um, Not what I was looking there's a male gnome. And uh, you begin to paw through his things. He's wearing a burned cloak, and he's clutching onto a dagger. Um, make a another perception check, or investigation, micro. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. Um, you notice a few things. Um, Seymour, you go over. You. Uh, I'll get back to you. I just want to tell him. Um, you find two female halflings. Um, who were playing a flute and a fiddle, and two other male halflings who were dancing. And all four are dead. Uh, flute and a fiddle? Mm-hmm. And two what that were dancing? Two male halflings. There are two female halflings who were playing music, and two male halflings who were dancing. Um, and there's one more body? Yes. So there were two female halflings, yeah. two male halflings, a gnome, Two female humans, a male half elf, two cloaked male humans, and an elderly female human. There's eleven bodies. I'll take the dagger and whatever. Oh, I, I missed the gnome. The dead gnome has uh, you notice you kind of like Sherlock Holmes, uh, dry waste on his boots and cloak. Define waste. Excrement. Um. Oh well, well that's a given. Go over to the. Then he also has a pouch contain. And it has gemstones in it. How many and what are they worth? Five. They look to maybe be worth about 100 gold. Total? Mm-hmm. Five, no, 500 gold in that, in that. E five gemstones, each worth 100 gold. I will pocket them. I'll Make a sleight of hand check. Because people are watching you. 17. Is there a reason you roll on your you, you look around and you quickly put it into your pocket. Jacob, if I can, um, oh, go ahead. I'll look at the elderly female. Um, there doesn't seem to be anything on her. No. Uh, I'm looking for like the cause of the explosion. Okay. As uh, uh, see if I see anything that's like smoking or like looks like it might have been like where the make initial an investigation came from. Okay. I'm not good at these. Do you want some help? Yes, please, please help me, sister. Mm -hmm. Can I help him? No, actually, make an arcana check. Okay. You make an arcana check first. If you get good enough, you get advantage. 15. 19. Uh, roll with advantage. Me? So roll again okay. if you get something higher, then take that. No. 15. 15? Easy enough. You don't find a bomb or any kind of um, explosive. You can tell, however, due to the fact that nothing else has caught fire, the ash is going away so quickly, and that uh, it was so impactive, and uh, the, the radius you're able to study it, you're like, this was a fireball spell. Somebody cast fireball here. And as soon as you figure that out, through the ash, you see um, clanking forward, uh, a bunch of guards begin walking in, and they begin to clear everybody out, and they're like, move, leave, go, this is the scene of the crime. <clears throat> yeah, let's head um, and they uh, they kind of force you guys out, and they begin to uh, and they put uh, six guards at each entrance to um, Troll Skull Alley. Um, your manor is kind of in that, um, but you're right at the, so you see where it says north entrance, south entrance, northeast entrance. There are six guards at each of those entrances, right next to your tavern. However, you can still enter your tavern. Um, but uh, they are completely so blocking it off. Nobody's they, allowed in. Did they kick us out of Troll Skull Alley, or are we stuck inside Troll Skull Alley? They, 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 they kicked out. you out. Okay. So you're outside the north entrance, right um, right next to uh, your manor. So the places that they're guarding is basically like that square, like entrances into that square? Uh, e yes. So yeah, okay. Anywhere that could possibly lead you in there, they're, they're guarding. Okay. Did, did anyone 
as we walk away from the guards to where no one, like they can't hear us. Mm-hmm. Did uh, d- did anyone happen to pick up on what might have happened? I didn't. I, I didn't find anything. Oh, one more thing. Sorry uh, to interrupt. There is. You can eyes now notice once you get out. You're looking at the guards. They're kind of standing post. You see a, uh, a a griffin begin to fly and begin to circle around where the smoke is. You can see there's a um, there's somebody riding it as well. Everybody uh, make a uh, just a history check. Can I have advantage since I've lived here my entire life? Um, uh, is this like a sure? Thing? Yes. For those of you who have lived here for your entire life, roll seventeen. Natural okay. twenty. Seventeen. So I'm debating whether or not I've lived here my entire life. She's technically lived here her entire life. If you guys have lived here your entire life, I'm I'm I don't know why I'm making a roll. You, you just know. Um, both both of everybody um, is aware. This is a Griffin, Griffin cavalry rider. It is um, it is basically like a, a guard, but they they kind of um, they scout via air, um, and okay. they they. Uh, this is very serious. <clears throat> well, yes, there was an explosion in, in an alleyway. No, they wouldn't post someone of that high stature unless they were investigating something and failed to stop an event that they may have been aware of. Well, did any of you pick up information on what that event might have been, or did, who might have caused it? Did anyone see anyone suspicious in the bodies? I've collected a couple of notes. One point of interest is entirely personal, but it may lead us to further answers. The other being that one of these gentlemen was visiting Xanathar. Or rather, regular Xanathar, but not recently. How do you know that? There was dried excrement on his boots, which implies that he either has or often entered the sewers. Hmm. But the fact, well, no, because there was a fire. But that's really the only thing I have to go on. It seems like, uh, well, I studied, you know, where it hit, and uh, I th- think it was a fireball spell. It was rather large. Um, coming into the entrance where you guys are, you see uh, two uh, characters make their way in, um, and they look like what I'm about to send you right now. Ooh, fancy. Uh, two humans. Um, uh, the the first guy kind of um, with the with the uh, with the stick kind of leading as he kind of makes his way in, and he's excuse me, uh, I'm Barnabas Blastwind, investigator. And I am allowed to be here. And he kind of shows like a badge. And you see um, the other guy kind of standing behind him with the notepad, just kind of watching. And the guards kind of nod and they, they let him in as he begins Barnabas to come. Barnabas Blastwind? Barnabas Blastwind. Um, are you saying that to me or are you calling him out? Calling. No! He turns around. I can't quite say I've ever heard of you. <laughs> I am a... Uh, I'm uh, part of the Watchful Order of the Magists and Protectors. We do investigate this matter. What if I have already collected some valuable information? Hmm. I would like to hear this information. Well. So that you know, you guys are probably like, like 20 yeah. feet apart. <laughs> if you would come hither, I don't like shouting. This will take but a moment. Where do you live? You point right there. It says, I shall conduct my own investigation and find you. Very well, we shall have tea and cross notes. <laughs> Can I uh, commit this man's face to memory? Yes. That they, uh, that he belonged to? And That's he, he kind of walks his way in. and protectors. The Watchful Order of Magists and Protectors. Watchful order. I would like to make a history check. Sure. A 14. You've never heard of this guy. Not the Order? Uh, oh, the Order of the Magists and Protectors? Um, personal interests. They, they are... <laughs> the wa- if I'm These are like now. powerful, um, like high-level people who um, are tasked with uh, protecting Waterdeep. 
Um, most of them are investigators. Some of them are wizards, um, and they do their best to uh, to to help the city. Um, and so this guy just seems like he he's like a detective or an investigator. Um, he works for. They, they tend to work for like the guards. <clears throat> Curious. Okay. They're like guards, but guards that are like mages or wizards or, or rogues or something like that. <clears throat> Interesting. Gentlemen, I do believe that this morning has warranted a drink. Agreed. We're ladies. Yeah. That's also a true. Broad term. Well, it depends, yes? Gentlemen? Gentle folk. Sometimes I take an old man form. The old man is quite beautiful. But which one is? I appreciate that. Which one is your actual? Is there? Is there? Was there? A oh, what we? What we actually look like? Well, yes. It's just w- this. What I've grown accustomed to yeah. with shape. Get insight back. I actually don't. Colton doesn't even know. Roll insight. Every four is uh, that's 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 sixteen. Roll seven. Eight. Oh. <laughs> You're going in the jail, my friend. <laughs> uh, you can kind of tell. She's like, this is what we always look like to the person you've seen change their face. No, I asked no. if that was their original form. Right. But it's like, you're like, like it, it's it's kind of obvious that she's not necessarily telling. You're not like, hmm, you're lying. It's just like, it... Press X to doubt. Yeah. It's doubtful. It will. All right, but like, if you ever want to tell the truth, you've already revealed that you can do that. There's no reason to hide more. Hmm? If I may intervene, does it matter? Are you, you're the one that usually wants to know everything, Mycroft. It's part of their nature. I would assume that if they were uncomfortable in their natural state, you shouldn't force them. I'm not forcing them. I was asking. I'm not asking them to change. I'm just wondering if that was their original. I'm doubtful. Where do you suggest going for a drink? Where are we regular? The place that isn't made of dirt by the ocean. We could go to uh, our tavern in uh, seven business days. Mm. Yes, well, I said this morning. Uh, Yawning portal? Yes. Why, why would it take seven businesses? Oh, well, I, I well, spoke to the and, Brewers Guild, and they said in about seven business days when our tavern is nearly uh, finished, uh, the refurbishment is nearly finished, that they will be sending uh, their goods to our we have temporary establishment. Employees. Fantastic. Who all did we hire? Mm, the Brewers Guild, the Bakery Guild, the Farmers Guild, and... We're walking. The Guild. Okay. <laughs> Those Where are you there. headed? Yawning Portal. The Yawning Portal. All right. It's going to take you about 10 to 15 minutes to walk over there. 10 to 15 business days. Well, I, thought said, <laughs> I thought they said that they were the ones that uh, were You guys make like, right over the Yawning Portal. Oh, I got you. And um, oh, okay. you eat one and one drink. It's so, uh, about two copper. I will look for two rather. Copper. How much money do I have? I'll oh, keep an eye out for a snake yeah. tattoo. Oh, okay. And if not, I will ask the bartender directly if he knows of Devil and Star Song. So, are we, we're selling bakeries? We're selling... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like two bakeries. Sorry, that explosion bakeries. gave yeah. me a little bit of a concussion. Uh, <laughs> the one you were nowhere near? Slamming into the wall. <laughs> yeah, I hit my head going up the, the peak. Oh. It's, it's a turret. Mm, yeah. Are you sure you're okay? <laughs> Good morning. Morning. Okay, you know what time of day it is. So, so we're gonna have baked goods. Baked goods. Oh, wait, it was the butcher's guild. You just that looking out for one. anybody with a snake tattoo, or I will ask the bartender. You walk up to Dernan, and he looks over at you, and he says, "Yep." Are you familiar with Davil Starsol? Mm-mm. Very well. <clears throat> then I will very discreetly and quietly drop his name into conversations I share with strangers. You turn around, and as soon as you're like, all right, you turn around, uh, you see um, a woman walking up to you, a half-orc woman. She steps up, and she's like this beefy lady, and she uh, she says, looking for Davil? I may be. 
Follow me. I will return promptly. Okay. Uh, she takes you over. Um, there is a table in the center of the tap room, and uh, you see a man uh, standing there, uh, sitting there with a drink. A very good morning to you, sir, and may I compliment your golden locks? <laughs> I don't need your compliments. I didn't say that they were necessary. I simply felt the need. Sit, please, drink. He, um, puts over an ale. I have one. Oh, <clears throat> no. thank you. So, uh, you're interested. Well, uh, firstly, if you're not interested in compliments, I would like to at least note, regardless of your rather in-depth investigation of my sleeping chambers, you have given it away with flying snakes. <laughs> That's how we communicate. They're not subtle. Wasn't well, supposed to be. You're supposed to know the letter was there. Mm. You got here, though, so uh, I guess it uh, went well. Well, you've piqued my interest. I, have I got one question for you. Um, what's your uh, what's your thoughts on the Xenophar Guild? Well, gentlemen who would plant themselves underneath our excrement are not exactly the kind of people I would associate with commonly. <laughs> Sometimes to do good things, you have to wade through the excrement. What Me is? and my friends know that all too well. There of which are three. My name is Davil. I'm a retired adventurer. Oh dear. Me and my adventuring companions joined the Zentorim a few years back. We help people in need. We provide loans, the mercenaries, and other services. I do find it curious that... Um, at least my familiarity with uh, the information we have been for provided for the Zehinterim is that you don't help people outside of your clan. Hmm. We help people who seek it. Hmm. Anybody who wants to oppose us, well, they can be our enemies if they'd like. And are those who don't join you? To do don't join us? What is your policy on neutral parties? Don't get in our way. Well, you have continued to pique my interest, and if you would allow not one but four additional crew members, we will take but one offer and go from there. I assume you've heard about the war going on between the gangs. I have witnessed uh, pinnacle events, particularly that related to fireballs and troll score alley. Hmm. Insight as he I want to see his reaction to that. Yeah, insight. Fourteen. It, he looks like he's trying to play cool to information he didn't know about. Hmm. He, he kinda disregards it for a second. I'm not talking about no fireballs. Hmm. Curious because uh, are the Zentorim, do I know that their emblem is the snake? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, uh, then you seem to have lost two crew members this morning. Probably weren't my crew. There's another Black Network gang. They even infiltrated the city. They're trying to take up the Xanathar Guild. By playing off as the Xanathar Guild? No. It's, uh, they're Zentorim, but they're acting rogue. And oh, they've, uh, they failed in taking over the Xanathar Guild, and now they're setting off war in the streets. I assume fireballs are among that. All I want to do is end the conflict and restore peace. Might I inquire, because of my and my comrades, uh, I guess, being involved in the situation, uh, we have witnessed some of, or rather, the aftermath of the events that happened on Candle Lane. Would that be you, or these rogues? I... I haven't tracked all of their movements, but it's not mine. A man on Candle Lane is not yours. On Candle Lane? Uh, it, was it a hideout? Yes. It wasn't ours. This is new information. Even so, if you did find any of our hideouts, I wouldn't willingly tell you where they are. 
But that's what I assumed when we went there. It was rather poorly organized. I was a bit disappointed. If you're willing to help and put an end to this conflict, I would award you. What's your gambit? Someone's killing elves and half-elf sailors in the Dark Ward. Three of them are dead so far, each one decapitated by a blade in the dead of night. Look into it, will you? I think the City Watch could use a little help. If you wouldn't mind uh, reciting that information. Dark what? elves being assassinated. No, there's elves and half-elf sailors, and they're being killed in the Dark, dark Ward. Night. The Dark Ward sailors, specifically sailors. Six, yes, elf and half-elf sailors. There are three dead so far. They've been decapitated by a blade in the dead of night. Decapitation. I hope you wouldn't mind that I'm going to involve assistance. It's fine. Just keep it on the down low. Flamboyance is nary but a cover for myself. Good, good. I will see you when the events are dealt with. I'll take my leave, All right. and I'll leave the drink that he offered, because it looked like shit. Okay. <laughs> uh, you make your way back over the party. Ladies and gentlemen, I have captured a job for us. Oh, fantastic. See how I included ladies? Thank you. We do appreciate that. Well, it's what is handsome. it? quite handsome. What's his name? What's whose name? The man you talked about. Oh, yes. Uh, that would be a dabble. Dabble. Um... You did disclose a bit of information that I will not openly discuss here, but it involves your opposition. My opposition? Yes. We? We will discuss it elsewhere, but for now, in the Dark Ward, in the Dead of Night, there are a series of decapitations occurring. And we have been drafted to investigate. Does it pay well? Judging by the, uh, people who offered it to us, and their rather involved interest, I would assume so. You I'm also wouldn't take the job if it didn't pay well. Well, if they drop certain names, you can assume that they're rather wealthy. Jacob, I'm going to assume I've never seen this person before, right? Mm, never seen him. Well, I will take my drink to go. Uh, Lucy, you are going to perform. Then I will have a second drink. Is that it? Roll performance. Okay. Come on. <laughs> 21. It's not a good night. <laughs> These two just begin to break out into song and, and, uh, and music. What'd you get? Six. Six? Oh. What'd you get? 21. Uh, and typically you, you play the background while she plays the star, mm -hmm. um, and, uh, go ahead and roll 2d6. Come on, sixes. Uh, six. Six? You, you make six gold in, in tips for a, a few songs you play. I'll split it. Okay. I'll drop five gold. Cool. And also, Minecraft gives you five gold. Awesome. <laughs> you take the three. I'll take the two. Okay. I'm so in discord. <laughs> well, I'll. Uh, oh, I didn't add it. I'll drop six gold. Huh? You make not six. Not you make. It's eleven between eight, them. eighteen gold. Okay. <laughs> total, total for your entire performance, it was eighteen gold. You guys are just paying our bills. Mm -hmm. It was a rather yeah. exciting performance. Realistically speaking, I guess it's almost shared money now anyways, isn't it, with the tavern and stuff? I would say our income is shared, but if we travel of our own volition, our earnings are our own. Mm -hmm. That's true. Well, we have a full day before we can investigate properly, so... I'm open to suggestions, but I believe we have a rival to take care of. The people next door. I say that in that one. 
just want to kill him? Mm-hmm. What? I mean, we are starting up. <laughs> All right, they come are on. starting up. I mean, do we need it to... I don't we just prove that we're the better? That's what I we're mean, going like, to do. Sabotage is a common business. We could kill their I did not even need to do that. Go into their cellar. Have not. you worked with me for more than and ten minutes? Take yes, but we don't need to something disgusting and put ourselves. it in all of their wine. That's what yes. sabotage is. We could do that. If you're really feeling like killing something, we could kill a pet, and then in blood. I believe they're burping That's again. No, okay. I think so. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Might I inquire? We could, t- skip, we could, could steal not. their animals. We're having a burping contest. Huh? huh? No, you've done this before. We, we know what it huh? is now. It's some like sibling language or something, right? Yeah, you know, like the, twins the speak. Gob- that the goblins somehow know how to speak. <laughs> yeah, we, we're friends with goblins. If you are allowed to keep secrets, I shall do the same. We're talking about the, the men next door. The ma- people. So were we. If we're a team, at it's least our, our communication should be... Do you be know any any uh, unusual languages? Well, I know one not spoken commonly around here, <laughs> and what? one I'd rather <laughs> refrain from speaking. What does Celestial sound like? Um, Celestial... S- <laughs> not Devils and Chimes. <laughs> it, it, sounds, it sounds probably like Latin. When you speak it, there's like a cadence to it. So it's almost sing-songy. Okay, uh, I mean, this is going to be a sus- I mean, I know how to speak this. Uh, my, my, my parents taught me. What do you say in Celestial? That, that, no. quite no. literally that. Well, my, my, my do you speak Celestial? Are you, are you looking up? Just the basic. My, my you are correct. I mean, it's more of been a habit for us. It's how we survive, really. Very well. Uh, but we'll we'll try our best not to do it. It could teach you God. Oh, you're right. Like, that's actually how it is. Mm-hmm. I believe that will consume a lot of time. Mm-hmm. I guess. Well, we should formulate a plan in the safety and comfort of our own home. All right. I, I have to leave and make There's a purchase. There's also the man there. See. What? The man. What man? Barnabas man. He's still there? I mean, he said he would be coming by. Oh. oh. Extra. We can deal with him. Shunsian. No, it's like yeah. Shunsian. Give him information. I looked up yeah. the translation. Maybe not all of it. Nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is the extra language I know. Uh, translates to Saul, so extra Shunsian Elsu. Wow, that's really sing songy. I heard that one. Yeah, totally. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily have like a beat, but it constantly sounds like poetry. Yeah. And and <laughs> celestial almost, it strangely almost always rhymes. Huh. Mm-hmm. It's very, it's a very beautiful, very pretty language. We'll head back to the, okay. the manor. About fifteen minutes later, you guys um, make your way back to the manor. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just so you know, Jacob, I think you might appreciate this. The word. <laughs> Exist in celestial, according to this translator, is thick woo. Thick woo. Thick woo. <laughs> thick woo. You guys make your way back. Mm-hmm. Um, as soon as you do, you see the um, you see Barnabas and that man standing um, near your uh, near your uh, front door. Mm-hmm. And as you begin to approach, they stop you, and they kind of step forward. I think he wants to know. Apologies. What uh, you, um, you live here. Mm-hmm. Only as of recent. Mm. I have a c- few questions for you. Mm-hmm. We will definitely have your answers. <clears throat> Do, uh, you saw the explosion? We heard it, and then we went to investigate. Mm. You, uh, know any of the victims? Not personally. Not that I know of, no. Do, uh... Are you aware that a uh, gnome was a victim of this explosion? Yes. Um, simply because we arrived there after the explosion. I went to right see if there was anyone I could... To see what was going on. Out of curiosity, we simply counted the bodies. Pointing you. You know any gnomes? No. Just the one that was there. Hmm. 
Yeah. Might I ask your motive for these questions? We're questioning all of the people who own taverns down the way. They are rather specific Why? questions. Specifically tavern? Yes, I'm investigating. Specifically gnomes. Specifically people who are uh, around Troll Skull Alley. We, we only acquired this place two days ago? Yes. Well, I would have to conclude you wouldn't cause such destructive magic so I close to your own tavern. I don't even know how to would be idiotic. <clears throat> We're trying to cultivate customers, not corpses. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, thank you for your time. You're welcome. He turns and uh, he walks away. Well? Is there a reason you didn't tell him what you knew about the firewall? Well, we are about to stir up rather seedy business. A gentleman like him would not appreciate That's true. the corners that we choose to cut. Mm -hmm. We cut them for good reason. We're inside now. He cuts his own corners. It's rather hypocritical. We're investigating the beheading of elves? Yes. Okay. Late at night, so we have time. Like uh, dark elves. I will also inform you that there are three occurrences that have been consistent, which is what arose my uh, friend's curiosity. So someone is choosing to kill these elves and half-elves? Yes. By, but it's not, like, they're targeting that, those... Well, I would assume they're targeting the back of the neck between two spinal cords. I don't mean the location, I mean the type of people, like, not humans, not dwarves, elves and half-elves. <laughs> yeah, most people do have two full spines that run down their back. <laughs> Check and them. they go like in the middle and then they go like that. And it's mm. clean. Oh. Uh, I'm sending a paper bird to Merc. Merc. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, um. I would advise against that for the time being. Well, I see. Uh, it's already. Hey, yeah, already flew out the window. What happens if well, the window's not open? The gentleman that we're about to get paid by is part of the Zentrum. Mm -hmm. And what? What? Do you know anything about the guild that you're yes. a part of? Yes. yes. I'm allowed to work undercover. I mean... That was very subtle of you. Sitting... No, no, one, no one catches those. I think, I think they also might mean undercover, like... He's telling his guild that he's working undercover he didn't Zentrum. even know that until just now. The Zentrum thing? Yes. Won't be a big deal. To the matter at hand, then. I will have to go make a purchase. I will return promptly. Do what... Why you are, do can you buy me some, some cookies? Why do you need cookies? Um, they're good? <laughs> they are good. I would give you, you a, like a gold piece. Um, keep the change. I definitely intend to. Okay. Although, also, Minecraft and the future, I'd prefer if you told me when we were accepting contracts from this interim. You don't have to be involved, it's simply... Well, you see, the, the thing that... I don't mind being involved, but I need to know who I'm working for, if you have that information. Well, I didn't want to bring up that you were rivals working for the Harpers, who is a direct enemy of the gentleman standing in a bar who sent a flying snake into my own sleeping quarters. There was a snake in the house? Yes. Do you think it's still in here? Is it still in here? I didn't kill it, so no. Okay. So, yeah, you don't need to tell people that we work for the Harpers. Actually, never tell anyone that. Yeah. I didn't plan on it, but I didn't want to arouse suspicion by bringing that up as a point of interest until we were in safety. Oh, okay. Appreciate it. I fully think... intended on elaborating. Do you think we should... I will be back with cookies. Thank you. Do you think we should adopt a different persona? Jacob, I'm gonna... Okay. Other than Uncle Ben and Aunt May? I mean... They know that one, the Harpers. I don't want to. I don't want it to be tied back to us. Oh, it's a good point. Yeah. You get to go for it, not hard. Yeah, I think you're right. How much are cookies? Any ideas? <laughs> Five copper. Um. You could be, you know, 
that guy that we saw. No. I was going to use that to maybe get into like a a guard post maybe sometime if we ever need something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, did you see anyone at the opera last night, maybe? And where did you get that magic cloak? Hmm. I went to Monster too. But that. Jacob said that there was a shop that I went into. Okay. Just gonna scroll through. Where did you get it? Uh, the store. The store. The cape store. Okay. <laughs> Tim. Capes yeah. and more. Another paper bird flies over to you. Okay. Mycroft has taken a step back for like 10 minutes. He's busy. So you guys can all right, yeah, I'm, play the game. I'm just going through all of the people's faces that I've memorized because I have to pick a face that I know there to, you go. to become tonight. All right. Um, um, I'm assuming we were at the opera last night and there was some like old guy that was like, had like slick back, back uh, black hair with like the really curly mustache. Definitely. Like that kind of type. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna probably be that guy. <laughs> All right. You slowly morph into that guy. Okay. Mm. I think this guy will will do. <laughs> you look done. That's the point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ira, what are you doing? Uh, I mean, there's, there's not much to do besides wait for Mycroft to return so we can uh, be on our way. I'm gonna go back mm, and I'm a fancy man. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna go up gonna into my, Mycroft, my room know. and uh, keep cleaning. Because yeah, I know I mean, I that it's cleaning is still pretty good. messy. Okay. How much are common magic items? Mm, common depends. magic items? Depends. Oh. Okay. Tend to be, they tend to be under 100 gold. I got a note back from Merck. Mm -hmm. He says that if we need help, um, he has clerics who can talk to the victims. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. we can ask Mycroft when he gets back, but that might help. Hi. And I could be become the investigator man, and he could be a sidekick guy, and we can get Are in. you guys having this conversation yes. where I can Yes. Hear? I mean, I'm, I'm up in my sure room. I'm sure it'd be hard to get to the, cleric, to, the, to the victims now, wouldn't it? I've already been gathered up. Well, I'm saying I can you. become the investigator man who works for the, the city. Are clerics considered, this is for Jacob, is, are clerics considered like policemen in this? Like, do they have access? Nope, they're like temple workers. Okay. Well, I, I suppose what I, what I could do is I could I could sneak in and, uh, and make sure that he was not in there. That way, if you masqueraded yourself as him, uh, you wouldn't be walking into a place he already was. True. Then they would note there was something wrong, and one of you would probably end up getting caught, and it might be you. Can we back up? Can you guys explain the what the what we're planning? Um, I was saying it, it'll probably be difficult to get in to see the victims to talk to them to the cleric uh, for the clerics. She said she she had it has his face in memory, so she can turn into him. So she's like, I'll just turn into him and then guide the clerics in. Turn into Mer? No, turn into no. Uh, Barnabas. The, oh, uh, investigator. the investigator. Oh. And I said I could sneak in and confirm that the investigator isn't currently in there if she turns into him and then tries to go in when he's already in there. Okay, got it. Then there's a problem. Yeah. And where are we trying to go into? Uh, back back into the uh, back into the where the fireball happened. Or wherever the victims have gone, really. I, I don't, assume that I don't, they would take They'd probably them. already picked up the bodies and moved them maybe to a to a, to a morgue. That's the right word, yes? Yes. But heck, maybe, maybe even already buried. It's only been a few hours, not. but... I understand why I'm confused now. I was thinking of the bodies of the decapitated elves. We are talking about the bodies of the We're explosion. We're talking about two different things, aren't mm -hmm. we? I got it now. We could I'm also sorry. we could also do that. That that actually would not be a bad idea. Wouldn't that basically be the Zinter and the Harpers working talking. together, though? That'd be kind of weird. Um, I don't. He Mert was not. I misread the bird. Who did Mert be? The the explosion. He meant the explosion. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
see. This is why uh, paper birds are kind of confusing. Mm -hmm. This is why Mother loved you best. You I'm sorry, I shouldn't have brought that up. Yeah. Do you need to talk about it? No, that's right. Are you sure? Yeah. You see Hedgy? No. I don't want to see Hedgy anymore. He just looks back and forth between the two of you. Like, is that the common problem? Huh? What? Hedgy? You know what? It's never mind. Hedgy is the common problem. What is what is Hedgy? He's a he's a, he's an old acquaintance. Mm -hmm. Like a friend? I guess so. I used to talk to him in the forest. I return with a basket of cookies. <gasps> Thank you. Is there a reason you stopped? She loves cookies. I'll take one and like um Yeah, I got too old. You mean you turned it <laughs> did, did, did you mean you turned it into As you guys are system? talking, there is uh you see um Fela uh begin to kind of move down the street, she's kinda of looking around. Um they are kind of looking around. Uh, this is the uh, the Fela herbalist the, okay. uh, who works in Corellon's Crown, and uh, they look over at you. Did you see the explosion? They're inside our house. <laughs> oh, are you inside? Yeah. 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 Never mind. That doesn't happen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we see her out the window, and I'll open it. I mean, I came walking Hello. back with cookies. Uh, okay. She'd say she'd say that to you. Um, they would say that to you. Did you see the uh, the explosion? We heard it. Interesting. It's very interesting. Do you see what happened? We saw the aftermath. Oh. Might I ask, what piques your curiosity? Oh, I just saw some stuff happen. Other guards are kind of looking into it, but... Anything specifically you saw? Uh, well, I was watering plants in my greenhouse uh, on the second floor of my shop when suddenly the blast, like, blew out my windows. Luckily, <laughs> I wasn't injured, but through the smoke... I saw a cloaked man take something uh, from the body of a dead gnome, and he started limping away. He was very badly burnt and was casting glances all over his shoulder, and people were running around trying to figure out who he was, and he had just made his way over. He, like Almost like he was afraid somebody was following him. Did, did, you, did you get any description of the man? Oh! Hi! Hello! Oh, wait. Was this outside? <laughs> I will yes. be, like, walking to the door. <laughs> I, misunderstand, I misunderstood the retcon. You are invited now. Okay, I, I misunderstood the retcon as he saw my crop You go, hear this sorry, through the door saw, and you step outside. Okay, I, I misunderstood no, as no, they no, saw no. my crop go in and then came to No, us. this is outside. She wouldn't okay. come into your tavern. They wouldn't come into your tavern. Actually, Fucking Christ! I kept saying he. I welcome mm -hmm. them inside. Um, Please enjoy a cookie. Did, did you? Did you? Oh, get no, 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 no. Uh, don't worry. Did you get a note of the man that? Uh, that no, no, it was super weird. I have no idea. No. I, I know he's headed toward the bent nail. I think that's what, what was going nail? on. But nobody else seems to know about this. I mean, Any, no one. Is um, it that, that piece of shit tavern? No, that's Fruin's bruise. Yes. Did ben you guys knows. see anything? Because I really want to know what's going on. Is that the one There's a whole explosion it? happening down on our street, bruise, yeah. and nobody seems to really care. Bent nails I mean, down the street, or on the corner. What are we supposed to do? I don't know. Are the guards doing something about this? I think they're just cleaning it up. <sighs> well, if I didn't have all the... If I had more time in the world, I'd investigate myself. Well, if we had been given authority, we would be doing the same. Oh, fuck authority! Perhaps do it! We could do it too, my friend. Like and mm -hmm. isn't the bent nail, if I remember properly, near, near the pier as well? No, it's wrapped around the corner. I thought it was near. I know that there were a lot of other people that saw things. The guards aren't even questioning them. They didn't well, question me. Talk about this after. So. You have opened a window of opportunity to us. Thank you. You're welcome. Please enjoy a cookie. I will enjoy this cookie. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, good luck and to you. In seven to ten business days, you can come back and have a meal. Are you starting the tavern up again? Yes. Cool, cool. Spread the word. They, uh, they walk down the street back to um, where they live. Well. I'm very curious of the bent nail. I haven't visited yet. Who is coming with me? Me. Me. Well, I will go. Very well. Then we shall travel. There's still quite like a, cr there's not like a crowd, but there's still quite a bunch of people sitting outside where the guards are like blocking people off from heading in and they just like want to know what's going on. Like nobody's saying anything. As we went through, I'll definitely listen to the murmuring. Mm -hmm. They're uh they're just we kind of just like, stupid. Why, why can't we know what's happening? Like who? What, what? 
people have died. They're not telling us anything. <clears throat> and one of them's just like, yeah, I know. I saw what happened. They aren't even asking what's going on. I have information. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. <clears throat> We're uh, conducting our own investigation. The people's investigation. Well. What mm. did you witness? Oh, from the explosion? Yes. Oh, I, I fucking saw what did it. Mm-hmm. Tell you, was no man. It's more like a puppet shaped like a man. It's on top of one of the buildings. Like a puppet without strings. You know what I'm saying? No. Like a thing. Like like it moved very rigid, you know? Like it was made of wood? Uh, it wasn't made of flesh. I know that for sure. But it was on the rooftop and it hurled something into the crowd that caused the explosion. I saw it. I saw it happen. Could Nobody I, seems to believe me. Could I roll... I saw those halflings. They were burned alive. Could I roll Arcana to see if there's, like, a magical construct-style thing that could be made that could do that? Roll! Plot. Like, it, it like, grabbed this, it had this thing in its hand, and it threw it down, and then, boom, just... Thirteen. Thirteen? Mmm, you're not sure. That sounds very strange to you. Threw, like, a stone down? One moment, one moment. I'll, I'll raise my voice. Did anyone see a puppet on a rooftop? Everybody's like, mm-mm. Like, I'm like, yeah, see, I'm the only one. Because <sighs> nobody else is watching. In Which the roof? Go ahead and roll insight. Jacob? Yep. Which roof? Uh, you're asking her? Mm -hmm. Uh, it was across the way. So 25. if you had the explosion happened here, and there was a street, and there was a building, and it was on top of that building, and it just looked down, and it just threw it. Twenty-five. Oh no, no, she's like, she's like adamant that this happened. She's like upset. She's angry. Especially because she's revealing, like, I watched people burn. Like this happened. Nobody, nobody knows. Did you see where it went afterwards? The thing? Yeah. It just, it just left. It just disappeared. It went out of sight. Where I was too focused on the explosion to be honest. You said it did leave. Where was it? Um, it, it, it was on top of a building. It, it just, it, once the explosion happened, I didn't really watch where it went. I just saw it do it, and then it, then I looked back up and it was gone. Was it on Fern's Bruise, or was it on the opposite building? Um, it was, uh, let me look at the map. It was, um, no, not on, not on Fern's Bruise. It was on some other building. I think a residency, uh, something like that. You said okay. that it threw something down? Yeah, it had something in its hand and it, it, it you tossed see what it. it looked like? I don't remember. I think, don't remember. Think. Close your eyes. Imagine you're there again. I know it's tough. And just think of what it had in its hand. It what was is about it this big. Marble size? Yeah, like a marble. That's a bead. A bead. I've seen them sold before. They're rather pricey. Can I roll up on it? Sure. Can, can I as well? Mm -hmm. For what? A bead for gigantic fireballs. Nineteen. Nineteen? Um... Seventeen. Seventeen? Uh... Strangely enough, yeah. You have an idea of what that could possibly be. Mm -hmm. Typically when you cast a fireball spell, you can see the flame kind of move downwards before it explodes. Mm -hmm. Um... She's not describing a flame, she's describing a bead. This could possibly be a magical item that maybe caused this fireball, but you're not sure what. I think we should go to the magic shop in town. I think we should visit both. Firstly, being the, f the crooked nail, was it? Bent nail. Bent nail. Jinx. We'll keep going with the bent nail. All right, you make your way over and there's um, uh, a little boy that walks over. Um, you would think he's much younger, but you uh, he's probably about 12 years old, but he's a halfling, so he just looks a lot smaller. He walks up, and he says, Hey, you were talking to that woman about the explosion. You said something about a bead. Oh, yes. dear. Well, oh, dear. right after the explosion, I, I had to find a rain barrel after I watched the, my halfling friends perish in the fire, and I, I heard a plot in the, in the, in the barrel. Um, and I, I don't know if it has to do with anything. It might have just flown in from whatever the explosion was. But I found this. And he holds up this, like, gold string um, with two red beads on the bottom of it. Oh, My dear child, can we please trade that hey. now? Calm yourselves. 
It he has earned us. a cookie. He's been through a lot. That is true. It may help us figure out exactly what happened. What was we? Uh, can you help me on that? I roll with advantage because cookie. Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's persuasion? Uh... That's a 19. Alright, fair trade. Oh. Are you going to find out what happened? Mm-hmm. That's the goal. Be hey. careful with those. Where's your mom? I'm going to easily place them in my hand and then roll Arcana to see if I can identify what they are. Roll Arcana. Hey, mm. where's your mom? Your mom? Um, uh, she's around. Okay. I'll go find her. Okay. Very good. I just um, wanted to help. Do you have siblings? Mm-mm. No. This may end up being very yeah. helpful, so thank Take you. another cookie. Oh. Ooh. I rolled a 15. 15? You're not sure? It's very strange. It's definitely magical, you can tell. Um, just by its craft and, and nature, but you don't really know what it is. I'll fuck with them. Alright. Are they connected to one another, or are they... They're no, it's like a necklace. Yeah. Like, uh, it, it's got a chain on two oh, ends. Oh, okay. And I, if you yeah. click it together, it's got two beads on All it. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. But he just had the string and two beads at the bottom. Okay. <clears throat> All right, all right, all right. I know, I know exactly what it is, but I already Perhaps we can lasso that and fling it at Flu's broom. You're going to start another fireball? What, what, no. what if How do you know that? We're going to get rid of it. Okay. Cheeky child. I think maybe you should let my sister look at it. She's very good with magic items. You're going to give it back. Inside. I, I jinxed. <laughs> I jinxed her. She can't talk. <laughs> I rolled a sixteen on the inside. <laughs> you gonna give it back? She can't talk. I jinxed her. <laughs> I'm grabbing your body and pulling you close. I pulled it up. Spinning you around, and then I'm gonna start riding on your back. And it says, "Please say my name." <laughs> All right, Lucy. Thank you. Did, did you write on my cloak? No, I wrote on a piece of paper on your back. I oh, just okay. I needed you to come near me because I couldn't talk. No, I totally wrote on a piece of paper. You like that? <laughs> I can just say my name. Um, I have prestigitation. I wasn't listening. What am I doing with this? Uh, could a very small halfling boy gave it to us, and I think sure that they are what the other woman was speaking about—the beads. Mm. Um, you want me to figure out? Mm-hmm. I'll roll Arcana. To... Arcana? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can't really get that. If there's anything else I would do. Yes. It's very good, yes. Eight. Eight. You're not sure. Um, I don't really know. Wait, wait. Oh. I would like to try. Perhaps we could put that in a bamboo shoot. A bamboo shoot? And just slide the window slightly <laughs> upward. Natural twist. And aim it at <laughs> oh, oh, of course. Uh-huh. This is fantastic. And, and just... That's what that's what I would do. I'd be like, do you you look at it and you're like, oh, this is a necklace of fireballs. Right. You don't know how it works. Mm. Thank you. It's very pretty. So we were to tell us how it works. works. Okay. Yeah, but she doesn't know off the top of her head. So, do you know what this is? Yes, I do. Her this role is, will not give her um, any knowledge. It's a necklace of fireballs. Um, but she I, knows she, she she could try that if she wanted. I'm using simple deductive reasoning. I assume if you pull a bead off and throw it, it will cast the spell Fireball. This could be very useful. Yes, for igniting fluence brews. No, we might. What if we need them for the fight that could potentially be brewing ahead of us? At fluence. I think we should be a little more subtle if we decide to attack fluence brews. I think we should attack them. Yes, that's another fight. That's why I said slide the window open. Fine, we'll Actually, poison these brews. I don't, I mean, not What I was thinking an is we go into the sewer and we collect a lot of the stuff well, from the about, sewer and then we, we take it, we sneak into the cellar and we put it in their wine bottles. I like that idea. That's my it's poison my, people. Well, that's the plan. Mean, they never go back. Yes, they spread the word. We, okay, we just don't want to kill brews customers. Contain poo poos. Yes. We could start a yes. slogan. I we could like write this. a song and we yes. could play it. In front of this, we the will time. make this, this so much money. Might just be something to think about. Um, maybe we shouldn't have these in case uh, some of the guards or that investigator decides that we're suspicious. Maybe we take they it all... to them, gain favor. No, that's not how. Immediately clear our names. 
That's not how this works. But then that also would reveal that we, we could have this. It directly it associates us with the case, and they mm. don't reward you. Yep, still attention. Do you remember the whole thing that happened with the Zahentrim? It, it is also true. When though, I was like, hey, we did shit for you, and they did nothing. It is also true, though, that he's already excused us from Oh, being... sorry, I did not read this at all. Hmm. Um, I did read it, I just didn't find it earlier. Who has been... It is currently summer. Okay. Um, who has lived here since the fall? All of us. Yeah. All of you? Okay. Um, the lady you did question would give you a bit of a description on the, on the puppet thing. She says, uh, she gives you a bit of a description. Um, and, uh, I'll, I'll tell you what it is. One second. Sorry. What, what the like hell do you do you have? If I hit the up, it takes me up to the top. It's very sweet. I really don't mind if you take it. <laughs> it, it had a golden, <laughs> it had a golden body. It had lots of circles and, and movements and it moved in a, in a rigid fashion. It had a long um, red uh, like cloak and a big red hat, and it looked like it had a beard, but it was also made of metal. Um, everybody would be like, "Oh shit, those are the things in the parade um, during during the fall." Oh. Um, uh, it is. Uh, God damn it! Where is it? Oh, I um, metal. Uh-huh. It, uh, it during the Day of Wonders parade. Um, they uh, they're automatons. And and they kind of march through, and they're they're super cool, and they're they're made by a guild in the in the in the city, um, and they're they're called uh, nimble rites. Gnomes. The creatures are or the guild. Uh, the the things the things are called nimble rites. They're typically like performers, like they they like march through the streets during the the parade, and they like spin shit, and they like play music, like they're, they're just part of the guild. They're really cool looking. Hmm? Do we know which yeah. guild constructs them? Um, you don't know, you, you know that, um, the Day of Wonders Parade is sponsored by the local temple of Gond. Gond is a god. God of... Uh, one second. We are still around the corner, still heading to the vent now. We could... Give the beads to friends. Make a if religion you know check. Who I'm talking about? Not saying out loud because we're religion. Twelve. <laughs> um. Gond is the Lord of All Smiths. He was a. Um. It is a. Typically revered by rock gnomes but can be revered by any, and it's like the god of craft, and um, smiths and makers and, and forge and knowledge and things like that. Maybe go by the temple? I think we should keep them and utilize them. We're getting into a lot of trouble day by day. Okay, well, then hide them well. Yes. Can you hide them well? Don't you know me? You were the one who was worried about them being found. Well, if they want to, to search us, but they've already excused us from the case, so it's unlikely that they would. Very well. We enter the bent nail. Bent nail? Mm-hmm. Just so you know, um, I have the uh, the necklace inside my bag. Not, I'm not wearing okay. it. <laughs> Just I might be an idiot, but I'm not. You guys step in. Um, there's a small wooden sign above the shop's main door. It is bare except for a large bent nail sticking out of it. The front room contains displays of ornate wooden furniture as well as a selection of bows and crossbows. The wall behind the counter is lined with rows of finely carved wooden canes, quarterstaffs, and shields. Um, you step inside, um, and uh, there is a, uh, uh, a half-elf uh, man. Um, he's got glasses and uh, brown hair, kind of pulled back, um, and he looks up at all of you and says, Oh, hello. My dear sir, we witnessed um, a kind gentleman who was injured by the flames, and we wanted to give him our personal condolences. Oh, uh, yeah, condolences? What we do you mean? We saw a man limp away from the scene this morning. Well, the fireball. 
Yes, sir. Whoa, I heard that was pretty bad. <clears throat> Would you happen to know who we could talk to? About it? Maybe the city guard, they might know a lot about it. No, there's a gentleman we witnessed walk away from the fire and mm. into your shop. Into my shop? When the fireball went off. Or near your shop. Inside. It was near this. Eleven. Uh, he did look surprised. Like, it doesn't look like he's holding anything back. Did you see anyone uh, limp past your shop? No, no. I, uh, I, I ran outside to find out what, what was going on. Anybody I would have seen heading into my store uh, would have had to walk right past or, me. Or past Curious. your store. Mm. Duh. I get questioned a lot. He points over. Yeah, sure he wasn't headed over there. And he points over at, um, on, onto the, the city, uh, the, into like a little uh, dead end of an alleyway. And you guys look over and you see a sewer entrance. Oh, oh that's very likely. That is possible. I'm not harboring criminals. Thank Excuse you. us. Very interesting store you have. Oh, would you like a crossbow? No, I never learned how to fire one. Hmm. Never really needed to. Uh, There's not much hunting you can do. Not very difficult. He pulls one up and he's just like, it's a, it's a matter of, I made this one a lot easier on strength. And he uh, he takes like this wooden bolt and he puts it in and he <laughs> cranks it back and he says, and you just pull just this lever down here and and he fires it and he slams into a dummy on the end of the wand. <laughs> and that's just a wooden one. Impressive oh. display. Oh, thank you. Do, do you have any that could be operated with one hand? Um, a hand crossbow. I, I do, I do, actually. <laughs> um, it's kind of a prototype, still working on it. He kind of pulls it over to the side. It's this very tiny little thing. And he's just like, you just, you don't need a crank for this one. You just pull it back. And uh, very specific kind of uh, needle-like things here, and he fires it, and it just sticks into the um, into the uh, the dummy. It's like doesn't do uh, nearly as much, uh, doesn't have as much power as the big one. But um, how much would that? Uh, how much would that cost? Oh, um, I think we should go buy the magic shop after this. Yeah. Which one's this? This, uh, well, oh, this one here. It's, uh, it's kind of the, I've only got two of them, and I need them for prototypes in the future to be 75 gold pieces. Oh, my goodness. I'll include, uh, 20 bolts. Am I, am I missing something? Is a hand crossbow not, like, a basic item? It is. That is what he's referring to, is a normal hand crossbow. Mm -hmm. That's 75. 75 gold pieces. Kind of hard to come by. I, I'm, as far as I'm aware, the only one that makes them in the city. Might be some other... I'm going to insight this. Go ahead. That's a... Twin... That's not, sorry. I have a negative insight. That's a 18. What are you trying to insight him for? They, he's trying to, like... Are they actually yes. that rare in this world? Or no, they just cost yeah. that much. They're that rare. Hand crossbows really cost 75 gold? According to D&D Beyond, yeah. What? They are, they are lightweight. They're, they're like guns. Like, <laughs> you, can, you can hide them, and you can be like, and they'll do damage. Like, they're, they're crazy. All right. Well, kill me surprised. Um, very powerful, too. <laughs> and hand mortars are a thing in D&D Beyond. That's pretty cool. I mean, the bigger ones are, you know, not as, are, uh, you know, this one's real delicate. I have to make a lot of special things for it. But uh, the big ones, you know, they're cheaper. How much for a, just a regular crossbow? Oh, just a regular one. Oh, I got dozens of those. Uh, it's 25 gold pieces. Just this regular one. He has this smaller, it's just in between. Hmm. Do I not have one? I guess mm -hmm. I didn't take one, so I guess I don't. <laughs> Uh, Alright, I will buy the regular one then. Alright, it's 25 gold. He gives it to you, and he also gives you 20 bolts. Ladies and gentlemen, I seem to have lost my cognitive youth, so 
I'm at your whim. Okay. What? Jacob, I'm tired of thinking. Can you remind me what um, the name of the magic shop is? What magic shop? There's like a <coughs> magic shop on the street, isn't there? There oh. is um, Troll School Manor, your place, the mm-hmm. Bent Nail, mm-hmm. Steam and Steel, the Corellon's Crown, the Tiger's Eye, the Bookworm's Treasure, and yeah. Do we know those shops well enough to know just what they sell? Yeah, Bookworm's Treasure sells um, magic stuff. Can we go there? Yeah. Can I get a, just a general description for each of them? Um, sure. So the bent nail is a, it's just a regular looking wooden shop with a bent nail sticking out of its sign. I mean, in terms of what they sell. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. yep. Steam and steel, um, so What does bent nail sell? Just weapons? Bent nail is, uh... Woodcraft. Woodcraft, yes. Okay. Quarter staffs, wooden canes, crossbows, okay. um, things like that. Um, uh... He sells weapons and shields at normal cost, and he also crafts and sells furniture and wood sculptures. Um, The Steam and Steel, um, they sell wooden weapons and shields at normal cost. He also crafts and sells furniture. That's fucking what? No, that's not what I... That's not Steam and Steel. Steam and Steel um, sells metal weapons, armor, and shields. Um, Yep. Corellon's Crown sells potions. Uh... Tiger's Eye, uh, he that's a private detective's business, and um, he will investigate shit. Okay. Um, Bookworm's Treasure um, contains books okay. um, and spell books and spell scrolls, mm. and the sewer access is the sewer access. Okay, thanks. And there are no magic shops in the city, or? Uh, no, you would have to do the magic, um, okay. finding a magic item downtime activity to find some magic items. I was thinking maybe they would sell an item, but I guess... Bookworms? Yeah. Well, we can check their front-loaded stock. Perhaps they have something of interest. Sure. Jake, uh, what I know of hand mortars are a thing in this universe. No. <laughs> I don't know, is there a thing in D&D Beyond? That's what I was saying. Do we take a break? Yeah, let's uh, we'll go ahead and take a break. Right. We'll be back in a second. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we took a quick break. Um, it lasted about 24 hours, and we all changed <laughs> clothes. <laughs> but this is still the same episode, so welcome back. Um, we decided to play the next day because some people weren't feeling well, but now we're back in, so it doesn't really matter to you because this is just edited. So Yay. we're going to jump right Yay. back into this game. So last we left off, you guys were about to go... Um, Talk to some temple. Talk to some templed guys um, about those those bodies that got burned in the fire. Now, which temple guys was this? Because I believe you guys it made this decision. It was the Gaunt Temple. He is the god of smithing. Oh, that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> oh, there was the there's the temple with the dead guys, and then there's the temple of Gond, okay. who um, uh, where you think the nimble right is. Yes. The nimble right is right. what you is suspect you is the thing that uh, caused the fireball. Okay. So you have two temples to go to. Cool. We should go to the nimble right temple. other temple, but then I let us go. Do we know where it's at? Um. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> um. It, I mean, no. But your characters can find it. It's not hard. Uh, you guys just kind of ask around and look about um, different maps and whatnot, and you eventually do find the temple uh, to Gond. Um, and uh, as you guys kind of make your way over there, it's about afternoon by this point. Um, and you guys make your way over after uh, a few uh, minutes of walking. Uh, you see it's open and. I was like, where, where am I supposed to be looking? Oh, uh, yes. The uh, the Water Deep's Temple of Gon sits on the corner of Sea Watch Street and Shark Street in the Sea Ward. Um, I can get the map if you guys want. You can see where that's at. Sure. Um, okay. Is there? Does the player version even t- give you the street names? Because no. if not, then it's stupid. I don't think it does. That's done. I'm just going to give you the DM one. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah. Here's just a nice map to look at. <laughs> Once it uh, once it loads, mm-hmm. 
It's also in D and D Beyond. If you guys want to. Oh yeah, if you go to Waterdeep Dragon Heist, which you guys all own, and if you go to the contents, you can go to poster map on the bottom right, and you should see um, poster map side one DM version. You can just click. Oh, there it is. Oh, cool. So you guys are kind of near the ocean mm -hmm. as you make your way over. Um, where's Troll Skull Alley? Oh, there it is. You. Oh, okay. So you guys leave Troll Skull Alley. You go all the way down this road, like pretty much straight west, until making your way all the way to the House of Inspired Hand, which is on. Um, the street that you guys have been on uh, the entire time, which is pretty damn cool. Um, and you guys, the House of Inspired Hands looks like a cross between a temple and a workshop. The symbol of Gond, a toothed cog with four spokes, is displayed prominently. You see the silhouette of a humanoid shape perched on the rooftop. It extends an arm, releasing a tiny metal sparrow into the sky. The bird does a few loops in the air, and then it veers. <laughs> Straight towards you. Everybody roll initiative. Oh. Zooming in. Just click on it. And we are thrust into trouble. Oh, it takes me to the next one. Yours is different than mine. Mine just opened a new tab. Okie doke. Try and get that to work. Ooh. Fifteen. Fifteen. Eighteen. Alright. Sixteen. Fifteen, eighteen, sixteen. It's like, I don't know. It feels like you're not ready, 16. so I'll wait. Sorry. I am not. There's, there's my initiative text document. Mm. Just, oh, that's document. Thank you. What did everybody get? 15. 15? 18. 18. 16. 21. All right, uh, Seymour, you're first. What a surprise. This, um, this tiny little metal, it's kind of sheening in the air, is making its way towards um, your group. It looks like something in metal in the air is coming. It's like a metal this? sparrow. At what oh, okay. velocity? Quick, very fast. Like you have like a you have a second to react. Um. Okay. I guess what I'm going to try and do is cast shield, uh, if I can, to get in front of whatever the metal thing is that's coming at us. So you're casting shield on yourself? Yeah, but I'm trying to like get in front of it so it doesn't hit anyone else. Basically, he's preparing shield because shield's a reaction. Mm -hmm. He's preparing his action to jump in front of the hit and then cast shield. Oh, so you're like backing up, trying to get in front of it, and then you're going to cast shield if it, if it comes to hit you. No, he wants to take the hit yes. if it comes for any yeah, of us. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, back you, up. Sound. You're describing it differently, which is why it's confusing. I understand what you're trying to do. I'm describing it differently. Yes, I, I understand what you're trying to do. Okay, um, who was after him? You, what was, sorry, what was your initiative? 15, 15. Nice. Your, your turn. Uh, I'm going to pull out my daggers and hold action, and if it comes dive, dive bombing for us, like it's gonna hit us, then I'll... Okay, um, all right. It's coming at us, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm wondering if it's coming at us in like a way where it's, it's gonna it's like hit us. Or <laughs> it's like coming down, us. and you watch as Seymour kind of backs up, um, and he's uh, preparing to like let it hit him almost, and he's and he's holding a spell, and he, um, Ira just pulls out a dagger. Chaos bolt. Roll attack. Um, Wait, what spell? Chaos bolt. Does it look like this figure is bolted to the ceiling or the roof of this building, or is it rogue? Uh, it is not bolted into the top. Uh, 15. 15? Um, you, uh, fire this chaos bolt, uh, roll the damage type. Uh, chaos bolt's kind of weird. Um, takes 2d8 plus 1d6, choose one of the d8s. The number rolled on that die determines the attack of the detects the damage type. Um, okay, so 2d8. Uh, the white one will determine what damage type. Okay. Um, eight. So that's thunder. Um, thunder damage? Eight, and then another... That's what they're saying. Uh, 15 thunder damage. Uh, as you all begin to prepare, you pull up, you pull up the spell, you pull out a dagger, Ari kind of pushes forward and fires, um, her hand forward, and, uh, there's nothing, there's almost like a, like a, just a ripple in the air that goes forward, and you watch the, uh, the tiny thing in the air, 
<laughs> explodes into like a thousand pieces and it's gone. Well, I suppose we uh, salvage the remains. I will actually use In, uh, my class feature. Okay. Uh, that would be eye for detail. It is a bonus action. I can use a perception, basically look for anything curious that fell. Um, okay. You find... Uh, it, it was completely shattered, mm -hmm. like completely and utterly destroyed. You are able to find one of the tiny tidbits, and you find a little sliver of, of metal. It's one of, the, one of the very few pieces that wasn't um, like shattered completely. Hmm. Well, let us not waste time. Yeah, I'm really curious what that was, though. Hmm. Well, Have our seen answer like that is... I mean, like the little bird? <laughs> kind of looked like a paper bird, but it was made out of, like, it was made out of metal. Hmm. Well, I mean, if, uh, if, if we are to believe that the, the creation... You up there. You look up and he's gone. Well. Wait, the, was there someone up there? Yes. Who? The figure who... You all saw it. You, you walked up and you saw the building, and there was a, um, a, the silhouette of like a humanoid up there, um, and uh, it extended an arm, and um, that's where the, um, the, the sparrow um, shot, out of the, shot out of the arm and went towards you, exploded, and when you guys looked up, he was gone. Well, then it's not unlikely that that is the, uh, the thing that threw the fireball. I yes. suppose that is what we will be led to assume. Well, maybe, uh, how high up was that? 20, 30 feet. Maybe I, uh, the temple's quite tall. It's in the building we're going to, though, right? Yes. All right. It, it like it like slid it like slid back into the building. No, it's if you guys are looking up, it's there's a roof and he, it was on the roof and then it just went out of sight. Really, you didn't see him disappear though. You're focused on the bird and then when you looked back, it was gone. Um, I could I could go up there and see uh, see if there's any indication of where it went. Make haste. He's just going to go inside. That right? was the plan. We could also yeah. just go inside, but if it didn't go inside, then... Then we will see it again. That's true. We go inside. All right, make your way in. If I can find my castle temple music. Yeah. All right. You make your way inside. The temple of Gond is open, and it's abuzz with activity. Um, as you step in, there's quite a bit of people inside, and they're all kind of conversing with one another, working on little projects, kind of tinkering. So people kind of moved past one another. It's just a workshop of people just making different things. Um, uh, there are uh, many displays of, of several different things that stand out. There's a four-foot-tall working model of a clock tower um, that uh, kind of just sits there, um, and... Uh, it is made of wood, iron, bronze, and glass with brass bells and delicate hands formed of solid gold. It looks very nice. There is also a, um, flying around the room, uh, is a, a wooden machine, uh, and it looks like, uh, kind of like a paper bird, but like, you know those things you would put on like your, your, your fan and they would like spin around? It's like that, but it's flying on its own and it's just flying around the room, this little wooden bird it look, and it's just like flapping around. Does it look like what? No, that thing was, was that one. That one was, this one's the bigger. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, there's a miniature model of a mechanical dragon turtle that has a brass plate affixed to its pedal um, pedestal, um, and uh, there's lots of stuff in this room that you guys could look at if you wanted to. Um, but as you're kind of looking about the room, um, a, a woman walks up to you, a, a dragonborn, uh, who a bronze dragonborn steps up in priest robes, and um, she says, uh, welcome to the Temple of Gond. Are you here to uh, work on any projects? We are here investigating oh. the recent events that occurred this morning in Troll Skull Alley. What happened in Troll Skull Alley? Are you aware that one of your festival uh, mechanical men is responsible for the events that occurred and is missing from your stock. Mm, uh, what do you mean? 
Miss missing? We have reports of eyewitnesses saying that one of your festival men launched a fireball into the alley. That's uh, an accusation, all right. Well, I have a nimble right here. It was gifted Inside. to the temple. Yep. Go ahead. I was on the same track. Twelve. <laughs> Four. Uh, Ira, you, you're like, wow, Dragonborn are really good at lying. It's hard to tell when their facial features are moving. Um, you're having the same problem. Uh, Inside is Mycroft. Uh, Mycroft. <laughs> uh, but you can kind of tell she looks pretty confused. Just know what's going on. Uh, I have a nimble right here. It was a, a gift from the temple by uh, by a Latinese wizard. Um, Latinese. Mm -hmm. Not familiar. Neither is Jacob. <coughs> uh, his name is Nim. He's sentient. Uh, it's a nimble right. Not necessarily sentient. It's a, it's a construct. Do you mind if we looked at it? Sure, you could speak to him. He, he can't talk. He can he can understand what you're saying, though. So uh, A certain item has also piqued my interest, which I believe you would have here. Um, I forgot the name of it. It's that thing I was talking about a minute ago. Oh, oh, uh, we have a few. What can I? Yeah. I would like to purchase one. Um, all right. What's that thing called? I can't fucking find it. Um, sorry, I'm so jealous. It's called Cogs, huh? something like that. I'm so uh, jealous. Clockwork what? amulet. That you can do that. Clockwork amulet. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, we have a few clockwork amulets. They are typically reserved for our more uh, um, gifted uh, scholars and, and priests. However, if you'd like to purchase one, you can. That is my intention. I would ask uh, a donation of 30 gold. That I am willing to pay, my dear. You pay it to her and she goes over and she grabs it. It's this uh, little uh, mechanical um, uh, thing on, on the end of a string and she hands it over to you. Thank you. Thank you. Follow me. And she leads you um, up the stairs in the back of the room. Um, there's a spiral staircase. I and assume that is this just my crops that, he's, that she's doing? Oh, no. She takes okay. all of you. All of you. Um, <clears throat> She leads you up a spiral staircase um, to uh, an, uh, an attic. Uh, there's, there's this little hallway, and then there's an attic door. She goes over, and uh, she goes over to push it. Mm, must be locked. She pulls out a key. <laughs> She's, like, fiddling with it. Is this a maybe, common issue? Maybe I could I have get, the wrong key. I, I could get it for you, maybe. All right. I'll try Normally to, that key works. I'll try to pick it. All right, roll. Uh, uh, how high up is the wall? Like, is it going to be hard for me? Oh, no, to... you can reach up and do it. All right, cool. Like I can say otherwise, I can reach handy. Uh, I would say she's probably on, on, a, on a ladder, and you would have to go up towards the ladder um, and do it. So are you going to... I'm just going to mage hand it. I'll cast the mage hand. Oh, okay. And it's a arcane trickster thing. I can use my mage hand to uh, lock pick from range. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Do it. That is... Do you know That's much? a nineteen. <laughs> you um, you put the picks in, and you're kind of doing it from a distance, and you're um, moving around the tumblers, and uh, you're not finding where the it is where you need to turn. You're like, okay, I have to push this pin up, and then I have, damn it, that one just fell. Is that even the right pin? And you're you're having a really hard time trying to open this lock. It's a, like a heavy duty lock. Um, I'm not used to doing it. Range. I don't really recognize that lock either. I think he changed it. Now, why would he? he do that? I don't know. Wait, who is he? The Nim. The construct. Oh. Yeah. Do you Wait, know... the construct? Oh, okay, that's good. Do you know much about magic items? Do you make them? Uh, a few. Any involving fire? Fire? No. <laughs> we no. don't really deal in evocation or any kind of stuff like that. Mm. Do you know anyone who would? Mm-mm. Inside? Roll inside. She said that that if you talk to him, he understands you, but he just can't res he can't respond. Is that what she said? Y yes. Um. Yes. Yes. Sorry. Uh, she she uh she said that 
Nim understands what you're saying, but can't speak. 17. 17? She doesn't seem like she's lying. She's being, she looks like she's being honest with you. Do you, do you mind if I talk to Nim real quick? Go, go ahead. That's what we're trying to do. We can't get in. Hey, Jacob. I have in him? I have proficiency. Talk to him through the lock. Oh, I have, he's I have up. proficiency in you, Soul Tone. I'm sorry, 21. Do you? Yeah, because I'm broke. You have to choose that proficiency in it. Yeah. So, uh. A, yes. How do you check that then? You have to go into your rogue, um. When, uh, when you abilities. make a rogue, it's. Do it's, I have to go into, like, edit character to yes. see if. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's stupid. No. I don't remember if rogues automatically it's, get it. No, yeah, we do, because I have it. Okay. I wouldn't use it. Um. I'm sorry, that's a 21, not a 19. It should be in your okay. features and traits. Oh. You're still having a hard time fiddling with it and being able to pick it. Damn. Like, it's still really fucking hard. Um, what are you doing? Nothing. It's a strong I misunderstood the situation. Oh. So. The I mean, hell? he could probably hear you if you talk through the... Yeah, but I kind of need to see whether or not he can nod yes or no, so... Well, what does the lock look like? There it is. Um, it like, looks... what's it on? Is it on wood? It's on wood, and it's bolted in, and it's, um, and it's made of, like, this, uh, brass and, and iron... I mean, we could always break the, the Yes, door, you are magic. Really well, to. why would he change a lock? I'm not sure. Does he do it often? No, never. I didn't even know he could do that. Um, then I believe there is a rather severe issue we are dealing with now. Yeah, I want to talk to him. Are there hinges? I believe um, at least two of you can't are see them. Damn it. Yes. <laughs> Can you come I'm gonna try to do the engine. Explode. <laughs> Can you just push it open the other way? Hmm? Can you command the lock to explode? Um, that's not really how well, it does not have yeah. any spells. Move. She goes up. Nam! Nam, open this. I wanna talk to you. Nam! <laughs> She's like hitting it. Is there, is there, is there access no, to no, the no, roof? No, none of my spells, uh, No, it shouldn't be. Do exploding things. But we did see someone on the roof. Shield me or... We did? Yes. Make it easier to talk. Mm. I don't like what's going on here. I believe you shattered a bird moments ago. Yeah, well, let me try that with the well, keys. Well, you see, I, I don't really get to control what, what it does. I could maybe freeze it off, but I don't know how that would work. Do you ever send messages by Metal Bird? No. Okay. Hmm. Quite the dilemma indeed. I would break the lock, but... Uh, do so. Do you mind? Break the lock. I don't care. It's not supposed to be there anyways. Okay. Why do you keep him in the, in the attic? That's where he likes to stay. So I mean, I keep a lot of things in the attic. It's a construct. It's a thing. You said it enjoys. Yeah, it kind of likes being in the attic. Doesn't really like to be around a whole lot of people. That is not common nature. Well, it's it has attitudes, but it's still a construct. I'm gonna start small. Yeah, you can up. take expertise in these tools. Uh, if That's I can, I'm gonna try with the dagger to like. Do just I don't have it. Break it. No, I is is it like is this like a heavy duty lock like? Like yes. Those? Okay. Yeah. It's 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 like a deadbolt, kind of. Let me check to see if it. It, it okay. requires a key to open, so it's got like yeah. a keyhole. Yeah. But it's really 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 small, That's and it's and it's like it's like there's wood and there's just this massive <laughs> of of iron keys. and brass like, sticking okay. out of it. Uh. All right. Never mind. Dagger's not gonna work. Uh, do, I, do I think that maybe uh, chill touch would like freeze it off? Freeze the lock off? Could I try? It's only, mm-hmm. it's a cantrip. Chill touch? I mean, do you Chill have, touch do you is have, necromancy. Do you have like a hammer? A hammer. So, oh, oh, it doesn't I don't know, keep trying these tools. Oh, I don't know, it might work. You're lock picking stuff? Uh, sure. Keep at it. I'll try it again. This time I'll climb up there. I'm like, you I have a hammer. Using the... Roll. What is that? A hammer? Cool. If all else fails, I'll just bang holes into it. Or just... Crowbar. One? Yeah. One? Uh-oh. <laughs> Like, maybe I need to use my hands. And, and then Mycroft gives you the hammer, and you're like, yeah, maybe I just need to really get it in there. Pink. Uh-oh. And now one of the picks is stuck in the lock. Oh, okay. Let's just... That, that, okay. 
Let's just skip to the heavy duty. Yeah. All right, everyone, back up, and I'm gonna magic myself. Uh, Roll damage. Okay. Does that screw my thieves' tools? Or? No, just th you have a bunch of picks in your thieves' tools. It's like one of the picks that you were using is like, uh, uh oh, uh <laughs> oh. Sorry. <laughs> This is really funny. I oh, know, it's totally what he would do. I just want to make sure that I didn't just... No, you didn't break, break your thieves. You broke the lock, not the thieves' tools. Okay. Uh, eight damage. It's a plus one to each one. Okay. <laughs> the, the, uh, the attic door <laughs> like hits upwards, uh, and you uh, you notice as uh, the lock has kind of like shifted a bit, um, and the thieves' tool, the little tool, has broken off and fallen down. It's just like sticking in there now. Um, but it, the lock is not broken. Oh, hey, see, that, that's a good idea. I'll take the hammer and I'll try to slam it into the door. Roll attack. Uh, probably not great, because I don't have great strength. Uh, 12. 12? Ping! You didn't do anything. Hit a wooden door. Do not know how wooden to door? use a hammer. Yeah. Give me my hammer. Oh, you hit the door or the The, the door, roll? not the lock. Even though, it just... Wouldn't that be would be a... What are you hitting? The door or the lock? The the wood around the lock. Oh, okay. Yeah. What'd you get? Uh, fifteen. Okay. Roll damage. Okay. We're master locksmiths. Uh. It's <laughs> gonna get it open. So uh, magic damage. missile and hammers. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get any door open. Whether or not it's usable. Little chip of wood. Next level, take knock. I thought this is some it. damn can strong wood. Can we spend a minute? Like this level. Hitting this locked door? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm. It, it's not, it, you spend a minute and you're like, <laughs> it's just barely coming down. The gods made this door. We should leave now. I walk down. <laughs> okay. That Did was a waste of time and energy and magic. <laughs> Let's um, kill ourselves. There's no windows in the attic. He's a little frustrated. You sure? Uh, no windows? Uh, no, there's no windows in the attic. It's just for storage, purely. <laughs> purely. I'm a dragonborn. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Are you all going to Minecraft? I believe I'm going to make an excessive purchase of anything to sate my frustration with professional craftsmanship. You could buy my love. With How much is the tiny clock tower? You can do that. Clock, clock tower? Oh man. Uh, it's four, it's four feet tall. Yes. Um, Why am I up? Yes. <sighs> I'd have to talk with the uh, the guy who made it, but I mean it's kind of a priceless art piece. It might be somewhere in the thousands of gold. What about a simple item, something useful? Like what? Yes, but my love is not going just until the end. To open this attic door? <laughs> I don't give the slightest shit about that attic door. Well, that's what I'm concerned about right now, because you guys are telling me a lot about Nim, and I want to get to the bottom of this, and I... Well, we can't. Um, I'd like to go, um... You might be able to find something on the roof. Yeah, I'd like to go outside and try to find a way to get up to the roof. Okay. Yeah, is there anywhere that you can, like, kind of scurry up? Uh, with an athletics trick, you could try. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'll try my best. Hey, can I help her up the... How, how would that work? Give like, me a boost. Like, boost? Mm-hmm. All right. What would, I, would I roll athletics for that, too? Not spells. What am I doing? Oh, my God. Skills. Hmm. I'm going to go back up. Okay. I'm, I'm still there. Bar. Uh, roll a strength check. Can I help? Seriously, have a uh, roll strength check with advantage. My help for your athletics. Uh, 15. Why'd you roll with advantage? <laughs> because that's what crowbars do. They give you advantage on yeah. strength checks? To open doors. That's specifically what they're for. That's why I said is to force doors a crowbar open. and not a hammer earlier. But Okay, uh, that makes sense. Uh, what'd you get? 15. Well, okay, we're outside roll? now. Yeah. I, I didn't roll. Do you want me to roll? Yeah, I would like you to roll. We'll like add it together. Advantage or just roll? Just roll. 
Natural 20. Uh, okay, so you go over and you realize, hmm, a flat hammer probably isn't good at taking away wood. The so you team. stick in a, a metal piece crowbar and you begin to really really hard to move it and then Seymour comes over and he's like here I'll help and he jumps up and grabs on it and the entire thing slams open and the lock just um, flies off and uh, and uh, the bits of it land onto the ground uh, if I can I want to pick up the bits of the lock okay uh, and also any of his lock pieces lock pick pieces that were still in there I think you said there was one like a piece that yeah broke a little off. like thin piece of metal yeah and then there's another piece that broke off when you cast a master magic missile on it so I'm, I'm just picking all that okay up. so right. the two of us are outside. We're still outside I rolled a 15 to help uh, her up onto the roof okay so you 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 get over and you give her a boost and you you push up you grab on one of the windows and uh, that's on the first floor and you push yourself up and uh, what'd you get on your roll do I roll with advantage yes. or yeah roll with advantage um 17 and you uh, kind of move and pull yourself and, and shift to one side and you make it onto the roof. Right, and I will try to climb up onto the roof. Okay, roll athletics. When he gets to... Oh, dude, I hate this dice. When Five. He, <laughs> you, you get up on one foot and you grab onto one ledge and you, <laughs> you fall. I'll try again. When Let's he gets to the, the first level where I kind of uh, held onto, can I try to pull him up? Sure. Roll athletics as well. There, 17. Okay, you, you do the same thing she did. What'd you Six. get? What? Six. Six? And she like, I'll help you. And you're like, it's okay. And you just play yourself up. And you guys make your way over. Did, did not want to um, on top of the roof, uh, you don't see anything. You see shingles. Do we see... Doesn't look like anyone's been up here. Uh, make an investigation check. Uh, I will attempt to help with that again. All right. I got a 13 on my health. 14 on my roll. Uh, you're looking around... Um, and you Would a don't... 13 be enough to give her advantage? You're, I'm saying you're both just looking. Just looking. So you're both... Okay. You're both we, I'll get in your eyes and move your eyes as well. You're well, no, it's more, like, it's more like she knows the small detail and I know it's a different small detail that helps us put it all together type of thing. Yeah, I'm keeping okay. track of both of you roll. Okay. Um, you, you find a few shingles that are out of place. Okay. Does it look uh, like they are like... In a pattern of sorts? Like, yeah, like they're in a pattern, then there's two that are shifted. Okay. Um, what I mean is, like, is it just those two? Or does it look like someone was walking, and then they walked back? Can I... Like you don't find footprints. Maybe we should remove them? Uh, I, I would like to try to figure out how they, how that person got up here. If they did kind of what I did, and what he did to get up here, or... If you don't know. Okay, it's not like there's anything sticking out to tell you. Okay, I'm just gonna go back down this. Okay. We enter the room. Yeah, I know. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, like, kind of try to shift one of the shingles. Is there anything under it? Yeah, you find a trapdoor. Hey, wait! <laughs> she hits the ground. I'm gonna go. Okay. I'll... You go all the way up the stairs and you go to the room and you see the, tra- the attic door's open. And I'll open oh. the trapdoor. And, okay. You two um, go up, and you see a uh, a attic room. Uh, you look around, and there's boxes, different um, uh, crates and barrels and whatnot, um, and you don't seem to uh, see anything else. Make a perception check, both of you. What'd you get? A one? A two? Uh, you can use your passive, right? Are we doing that rule? Yes, you can use your passive. Passive. Okay. <laughs> there you go. And ten, because I rolled a ten. three. Uh, you both look around, and you see something shift in the darkness in the back. I storm over to it. <laughs> move over, you shove over crates and barrels, and you make your way over, and uh, you move a barrel to the side, and you see this uh, squatting uh, thing just kind of looking up at you. And then it stands up in a very, like, uh, like rigid manner. And you look up and you see, um, uh, that's what it looks like. And you it's, are a cursed creature. You are truly blessed that your mouth will not open. You hold many secrets, and I will get my answers. I'll walk over the microphone. One second. Yeah. Oh, you found him. All right. 
can you write? And you see uh, uh, v- uh, the dragonborn uh, woman walk through. Her name is Valletta. She steps up. She says, Nim, what's going on? And you watch as it lear- it turns and it like begins to like move its hands around and gesture. And uh, it's like communicating with her. She says, it, uh, didn't know it was scared. This creature is worth less than a wooden nickel. No, it's not. This thing worth a lot of money. Uh, what's what's it doing with its hands? Oh, it's communicating via gestures. We learned how to communicate with one another. I had to teach it one way or another. You know. You didn't teach it to write. Uh, it doesn't know how. It's not really in its programming. Neither was hand gestures. You said you taught it. Listen, I don't really know how, entirely how this thing works. It's would, a brand new creation. Would you mind translating? I can translate. Nim, these people say you've uh, cast out a fireball? Something of the like? He, he kind of turns and he does this and he kind of moves over and he says, uh, he doesn't know anything about that. I mean, he's not really known to lie. If he's capable of what? learning, he's capable of lying. Why didn't you tell me? And he's like, continue to gesture towards her. What's he saying? And then suddenly, <laughs> the ceiling opens, and Ira steps in. Hey, so, uh, it turns out there is a way mm-hmm. from, the, from the ceiling to... Mm-hmm. It looks it like... Oh, out. hey, there's a thing! You, you found the... I have a crowbar. Uh, how did you not already know that? I've... Do, wait, do I have one? Underestimated this thing. It's did a I lot more sentient than I thought it was. Yes. So what's, uh, what's going on then? Um, is, Apparently is this... Nim uh, created another nimble right because he was lonely. But uh, according to him, it ran off and he hasn't seen it in months. So what was the bird? Ask it. Well, you heard him. Um, he says, he just says he was scared. He was trying to protect himself. Thought you were here to come kill him. Does he just attack anyone who enters this temple? He attacked you? Yes, with a bird. Why didn't you tell me? <sighs> she kind of storms off towards the back and goes towards the attic and comes down and you hear some yelling. And then you watch as a bunch of other temple acolytes come up and they begin walking over and she's like, take all this stuff. It's not allowed to craft anymore. He's lost that permission. And you see uh, the nimble right just kind of slink down. To know. They go over and they begin taking all of his things and moving them um, out of the attic. What? <laughs> was the purpose of the bird. Uh, he begins mentioning to, uh, being speaking to um, Valletta, and he says, uh, it was a creation he made. It says it malfunctioned. Did, did he mean to send it towards us? Did you mean to send it towards them? He goes like this. Really, I didn't mean to. Did well. And he starts gesturing again. He says, he thought you would report it to the temple guards and he would get in trouble, so he ran away. One final question. It is terrified. That is recent. It has not made a lock before now. What is it afraid of? Hmm? Did you detonate that fireball? He says... He just begins, That's not what I'm asking. And uh, it begins to uh, gesture again. He says... Uh, and Valetta says... Um, he... Uh, he's... He's apparently uh, got a lot of inventions he wants to make. He thought I would come take them, like I am. He's not allowed to do that. Apparently he's making things that almost hurt you. It flew towards you, did it? Did it attack you? Mm, he didn't really get the chance. Apparently he's made another nimble right. And he don't know what that thing's doing now, it ran off. Well, do we, we know, do. Do we know what form of, of... Killing 11 people. Consciousness he might have, like maybe, maybe he knows something about how it was programmed, or how he made it. That would he he be turns like and a, and Nim looks over and he and he, consistency. There's something that falls onto the ground as the people are picking up the boxes and he goes over and he grabs it and he holds it up, um and it's this uh, stick uh, with a uh, and it's got all these clockwork machinations on it with an umbrella on it as well. May I? And he, I'll take it. And he begins gesturing and um she says apparently that can uh, detect nimble rights. Except for him. So the other one. Yeah. How does it work? He, he. Uh, the nim goes. You you grip it and it doesn't seem to do anything. 
It cool. begins gesturing again. Um, uh, the umbrella one? will come up if you're near one, I guess. Is there only one of the nimble in this town? No. There are more. The others are not sentient. What does it look like? Did you only create uh, one? Does it look just like you, or does it look different? Um, do all the Nivorites look different? What? He says, he, he nods, and, he, and uh, Valletta says, it can detect other nimble rites when you're nearby. That's uh, all he's saying. Did it only create one? Yeah, he only created one. Is he the only other one? N- no, there's nimble rites all over the city. Nim, do they all wear, I'm like talking to Nim. Okay. Do they all wear red cloaks like you? Because the one that cast fireball had cloaks like you do. Typically. So it's going to be finding. Sometimes it depends on their master. You no, know, and I'll pull out the thing. I'll pull out the fireball. Thanks. Someone had to give this to him. Yes, to the one that cast the spell. To ask Look, I, d- it. I don't like that this other rogue nimble right is running around the city somewhere. And we it's... will destroy it. If you destroy it, I'll pay you five hundred gold pieces. Oh hey. If you return with proof of its destruction. I said platinum, not gold. You said five hundred platinum. Yes. That's I've also got thing. some other non-magical inventions I could offer you. I'll give you most. I'll give you all these things. Just destroy that thing. One I don't want it in the city anymore. Final question for this creature. From him. Is Not there from me, someone that you are creating things for? Um. He says. He said. Uh, he was created to create. I was gonna say, you should really kind of celebrate what he's doing. It seems like he has some talent. Yeah, except when things run off, he starts casting fireballs. It's just anybody by a nimble right. It's dangerous. Just anybody by Sorry, what did you say? No, I've just been cut off like a bunch and I'm getting Always. kind of upset. Um, maybe monitor what he's doing and not just lock him in the attic and let him uh, get lonely enough to create a friend? Uh, maybe. He's gotta learn. He can't just create whatever without my permission and lock the attic and stop whatever's going on here. It's not good. Maybe I'll let him start inventing things. But as soon as he gets a grasp on it, when they don't run off and start doing things. Do we know? Do we know if anyone can buy an emirate, or or are they specifically created for people? Uh, they're kind of a... They're a rare find. You have to be really rich to know someone who makes them and will sell them to you. Do, do you, you make them and sell them? No. She said it, yours was a gift. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some wizard gave it to me. Do you recall it gave his me name? Him. Do you recall his name? No. It was a long time ago. Nim, did you make this necklace? No. He's never seen that before. Well, if this does what I think it does, and someone very rich is the person that that would have given it to, is they trusting it with the nimble right? You know, these aren't these are probably aren't that cheap. Does Nim know who created him? Created who? Does Himself. Nim know who created Nim? No. But he knows he was created to create. Yes. How does he know that? It's all he yearns for. Okay. The same could be said about us. Yes. Well, perhaps we should head out to the rich side of town, where you do best, and speak to people that are rich enough to own one of these nimble rights. I mean, you can just use the detector and try to find that other nimble right. Find as many as we can. Um, There's very few. Like they, they, there are many in the city, but they're, they're very, very rare. Do you have any more questions? We should leave. Find that thing and destroy it. I'll pay you. Okay. Before right. we go, I'll just kind of subtly approach him, or my will, and All right. just look him in the eyes. You just see. Shouldn't it. exist. And he'll turn walk out. If I see that happen, I'm going to give him a kiss on the cheek. He kisses metal cheek and he looks up at you. He's so conflicted. (laughs) 
And we he, don't he, all hate you. He, he, he gestures towards you, but you, you don't seem to understand it. <laughs> I'll learn that one day. His gesture is Valetta that. walks over to you and he says, <sighs> she just, she's not, he uh, says that he hopes to see you again someday. Okay. He's lonely. I'm going to give Nim my purple feather. Okay. He t- takes it. He just stares at it. And then he puts it in his pocket. I'll put my old one in my, back in my hat. All right. What do you guys do? <clears throat> That's a good question. Click it again. Click, click, click. click. <laughs> <laughs> We're so, going for a walk. Okay. Um, that... You guys are going to walk through the entire city looking for... Um, Apparently, yes. Yeah, Can you hard. describe the rod a little more? Just because I'm... I will old. send you a picture of it. Oh, okay. If it ever loads. <laughs> it loaded really fast. <laughs> Did he, did he, did Nim have that big sword arm too? Uh, yes, but it was probably retracted. Oh, okay. That's gonna be really tough to like build stuff with a big sword. Yeah. No, it looks like he does have fingers wrapped around the hilt. Okay, then it's just a weapon he has. Yeah. It's like an arm blade. That's what the nimble right detector looks like. Hmm. That's cool. Oh, I see. So that's the piece that I'm squeezing. You squeeze that, and then um, it, like Dr. Seuss. it's like currently retracted, mm-hmm. but it will and it'll spin when you're near one. Cool. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, a ward by ward um, is a way you can go about this. So um, instead of saying we're going to go to this exact street, uh, which ward are you going to search first? What word are we in? I can't look Here, I'll send you, you I'll to... send you the map. Oh boy. W D H D N. It's massive. <laughs> what are they like seventeen wars or something? No, there's like six. You could just say them. We're on camera. I know, that's true. <laughs> there is the field ward, the north ward, the sea ward, the castle ward. The City of the Dead, which is um, the, uh, I think, just where dead shit is. Old trades Ward, Dock Ward, and Southern Ward. Do you do Dock? Dock or Trades? Maybe there's a link to the uh, decapitations. We could investigate, I have forgotten. We don't, well, we, I feel like it's, it's, finding this is the priority, but maybe we can... What's the word? Kill two, two birds with one, one stone? stone? Yes, that. Um, the yawning portal is in the uh, trades ward, the, right next to the dock ward. Where is Trollsco Alley? What ward is it in? That is the north ward. Well, didn't you say you wanted to go to. Um, we could start in welfare? familiar territory or ascent, attempt to solve a crime. Didn't you say you wanted to go to a wealthier part of town? That was his well. Suggestion. That was that was if uh, if this thing would only detect the one that he created, but it detects all of them. So, it's, if only wealthy people own them, then if we found one in a non-wealthy part of town, it'd be likely that it's the rogue one. I'm so, I'm okay with going anywhere. I'm just thinking of motive. Why it would have started in Troll School Alley. That's true. And why the people? Why did it kill them? Where are the bodies now? Probably in the dead ward. We never did get any answers from that gentleman. Jacob, do we know where where the city's dead go? They tend to go um, to the city, city of the dead. dead yeah. <laughs> um, I think that's where they go. That's where they go in this game. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we could either... Typically, the dead are, are taken to uh, temples, and then they're casted... Uh, uh, typically, clerics will cast... Um, what's that spell? Uh, Speak of the dead? No. no. Oh. They... Uh, uh, spare the dying, I think? No. no. <laughs> they bring them back to the, life? The one that keeps you from being turned Rot- to undead? Uh, I have it right here. I can't remember what it's called. The one that, like, preserves your body? Yeah, it preserves the body. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, I can't remember right now. I think it's a cantrip. No, no, gentle repose. Gentle. Yeah. They cast that on the corpses. 
Um, and uh, they're they're typically at local temples. Where are we at right now? Um, you're currently in the um, the Sea Ward, by the uh, uh, the spires of the oh. the spires of the morning, the House of Inspired Hands. We could just start right now. In Sea Ward. Mm-hmm. What do you guys think of that? Sure. Are we wanting to just like make a Oh, Let's just start it. here and travel. Oh, it's gonna be a long day. Forward. So, do I roll investigation? How are we gonna do this? Mm, no, you literally walk through the streets, just gripping the the detector. And if it's if it's close by, it'll go off. All right. All right. Any luck? Um, <laughs> I will tell you in just a. You guys um, begin uh, to search the entirety of the Sea Ward. Um, two p.m. 3 p.m. street by street by building by building. You guys walk along the streets. Your feet are tired. There's it takes all day. The sun begins to set and you get to the last street and there's nothing. It takes the whole day to do this one street. It took about five, six hours. You walk down every street in the sea ward. It'll take a, about walk. a day per ward. We could play and walk. Yes, can we play and walk? But it's drawing time. attention towards us. I'm, after probably about 15 minutes, you guys are like, holy crap, and you probably played all day. <laughs> Do we make anything? Uh, roll performance. <laughs> really, uh, <laughs> drop the ball can today. I, I trip over a rock. Can I add? Fall on my face. <laughs> can I, <laughs> is there any chance I could add to the performance by doing like a light dance with the... Uh, you're going to dance while you're walking? Dance. The Go ahead. He does have the cape. Oh, yeah. And then a... Uh, <laughs> Did you roll one as well? No. Stop rolling that die. Roll yeah, your seriously. Own. Do you want to put it in dice jail? That one's bad. Make it. Dang it. What did I roll? An 11. Up. Okay. Fucking. I got a 19 on my performance. But... I got a 9. Okay. Um, Ira's doing something weird while you're playing, and uh, and you were like, like your, skipping around your guitar was not tuned, and you can't tune it, and you skip, and then you fall on your trip, and you're like, I'm not playing today. Mm-hmm. Screw this. Mm-mm. You, however, are playing what? My dulcimer. And it's it's <laughs> great, and people uh, think it's really cool, but you're in the sea ward where a lot of like ship people are, are about and uh, working <laughs> and whatnot, so you make about five gold pieces <laughs> as people just kind of slowly tip you. Okay. I would probably play something like a little more like shanty like. Uh, cool. And yeah. Very okay. nice, very nice. You play some shanties. Whiskey is the life of man. Probably just be reading books while we're walking. Cool. And what are you guys doing now? It's like worse than trying to be on a phone. No, oh, it's thing. summer though, so the sun doesn't really set till like 8 p.m. So now Do it's about 8 p.m. Do we have another one, you think? Another what? Another ward. What time is it? Time it's 8, 8 p.m. You've been walking since 2. My feet hurt. Mm, we could always do tomorrow. Well, it doesn't Thank appear you. that we have a choice. Very true. We should have asked him to create another one. We could, Would they have let him? We could rest for... Well, under supervision. We could rest for a while. And then go down to stay here in the docks and then we could investigate also the gather the information from the gentleman who did our job for us. We could. Yes, we could go talk to him. Barnaby's he could probably tell us where the corpses were taken. Yeah. Well, he could tell us everything he learned about the corpses. Mm-hmm. You, you want to talk to Barnabas? Hopefully, yes. he's still at the crime scene this late. No, he left. He would be. He would be no, he's part of an organization. We just need to find their headquarters. Do we know that organization? Was yes, made? we do, because I have written it down. The it is the order. something, something of majors and protectors. Not, not yeah. what I, it is, I where it is. Watch for order. It's, the watch, it's, it's combined both of those. Watch for order of majors and, and protectors. Where it is at, I don't know. I will ask. Where the the watchful order the mages and um, people is? Yes. Um, they have uh, <laughs> the watchful order of mages people. Uh, they have a office in the castle ward. I will travel to the office. All right. Uh, is anybody going with Mycroft? I will. You're all going. Yeah. All right. 
Uh, <laughs> you, wait, everybody make constitution open. checks, yep. saving throws. You're fucking tired. Hey, hey, hey. Seven. 18. 18? Seven? What is my... Could you pass me a second D20? Fire. What? Could you pass me a second one? 22. 22? Yes. All right, 11. 11? Yeah. Uh, so Seymour and, um, and, uh, Mycroft, you are freaking tired. You've been, it's been a long day. You've dealt with a lot of crap, and it's not been very pleasant, and it, the sun is setting, you've been, it's been hot all day, and you're just like, make your way over. Uh, you both are suffering a level of exhaustion. What's the first level of exhaustion? Uh, just disadvantage on ability checks. You can put the <laughs> hint on uh, D&D Beyond. Put the what? You, you can, can put your exhaustion on, in, on uh, in, uh, uh, yeah. conditions. conditions. You make your way over to the office, uh, and you... No, we don't have the mental energy to deal with this. Really in the morning, I will draft some sort of letter saying that we have rights to their information. How far away is the castle ward from our our home? The castle ward? Literally the other side of town? Uh, not the other side of town, but it's a good ten minute walk. I will rent us a carriage. Oh, ten minutes? Yeah. Oh, okay. Fucking going home. Okay. Uh, you guys, uh... Do you want to keep investing? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Why am I measuring this in minutes of 10? Holy crap. This city is huge. Yes. Holy shit. I'm so, I'm sorry, guys. I'm it super wrong. Five hours. And then Give me a minute. <laughs> Give me a second while I figure out how, how, how actually big, um, uh, Waterdeep is. I think this will determine what I guess like, it felt like the city was like the size of a peanut. You yeah. shrink down to a halfling. I will order a carriage. <laughs> That's what we do when one of us is tired. Yeah. We just carry the other one. Although the whole ward taking uh, 10 days, or 10 days, the whole ward taking 6 hours to walk through makes sense to me. Mm-hmm. I feel like that would be too noticeable. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to take a couple hours for you guys okay. to get back over to, uh, to, um, uh, Troll Skull Alley. We've walked all the way over here. What sort of? Uh, just to let you guys know, the um, the uh, God dang it. What sort of travel do they provide here? Um, they have carriages. Okay. It's about a copper a mile, so it's probably six copper to get you back to your house. Okay. Um, I'll tip him a silver. Oh, very nice. He's so very happy with you. I guess travel. I don't have to carry you home. Mm-mm. The horses do it. Mm-hmm. Is there a reason One we walked moment. all the way over here? Just to... um, oh, by the way, the entire I'm walk, I'm still clicking the dumb, the dumb thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, you didn't find anything. And along the carriage back home. And along the carriage back home. Click, 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 click. Very nice. You should have rented a carriage to oh, do Wow, this. I can actually track where you guys go. This is so great. This is so great. Thank you. Thank you, Wizards of the Coast, for this wonderful adventure where I piss off my players with a fucking attic. Um, I was just confused at how a hammer wasn't putting, like, at least a hole in the wood. Like, if I take a hammer and I hit that, mm-hmm. I'm going to put a hole in it. Well, in, into what? It's very different. Into what? Into drywall. That's drywall. It's different. Hit the cabinet. I'll put a hole it's in. not that kind of wood. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's thick. like thick lumber. It's like plank wood. Yeah. Sort of like what a boat is made of. Take, take our table and put two of them, flip it upside down, put a lock on it, put it on the ceiling, and hit it with a hammer upwards to try and break it. It'll, it'll take more than a minute. They have hit points too. They, you guys could have just done it. Uh, I would have mended your lockpick too and gave it that. Yeah, that was the plan. Thank so you. it would have been uh, ten rounds of damage, pretty much. Which probably would have broken through. Yeah. That's what that's what set Minecraft off. Okay, so <laughs> this, this door was made the by the whole thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Make it back to Troll School Alley. Does not go off. <clears throat> uh, and uh, you guys make it back home, and uh, you collapse in your rooms and fall asleep. Do I know what near means? Do near I have to be five feet away. Um, hundred feet away. You don't know. Fuck. All right. Um, you I'm could cast you detect straight, magic right? on it. Yeah. No, cast identify on it. It's a spell that I don't have. 
Yeah, to destroy like a fruit cart would. Sorry, you would know. It's 500 feet. Okay. Um. So we, break, we can plan our walking route. Yeah. To break down a full like cart of melons would a resilient one has 27 hit points. Mm-hmm. A cart of melons. Mm-hmm. A full cart of melons. Oh, a wooden door has 50. Where did you get that? It's in the DM's guide. Why are you looking this up now? It doesn't matter anymore. It matters um, to me. It, I mean, it does matter for you guys. Typically, wooden doors have an AC of 15 and 50 hit points. <laughs> so with a mallet that, that does like one damage and going uh, for an hour is not going to just do 50 damage. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> you guys go to sleep and you wake up the next morning. Oh, uh, um... And you know, are no longer exhausted. You're gonna do stuff. I was gonna play a prank on Seymour, but um, I'm gonna forge a letter. I won't. All right. Um, you're gonna. Are you writing your own letter, or are you gonna make a fake one? I'll help you make a fake one. All right. Uh, who's it going to be from? Uh, I was thinking it's, like a uh, Like, what's the details of the letter? Just Mycroft's familiarity with the city. It would be a professional document stating that I have rights to the information collected from the investigation. Okay, and you're making it look like you're like an investigator? Yeah, like it's a professional document from someone related. So let's say in association with the guards. I do have one. So like I figure I've seen enough of those documents. I, I've had Make an intelligence stuff. check and I'll help you out. All right, so, okay. so we get up about 10 minutes early. No, uh, before I go to bed, I'm not... I'm not oh, before I'm you go to bed. Team. You That's know it'd be, it would be far more convincing if you were behind a guild. Then just being like, the guards told me. You can just be like, oh, I work for so and so guild and I'm investigating this. Uh, so I should know some information. Jacob. Um, so before bed, uh, I would two. like to play a prank on my older brother. And I offered my help. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to take uh, the wire, the copper wire that I used to cast message and cut, you know, like a bigger piece of it. Right. And I want to create like a, a trip wire outside his door. And so I'll take, um, I have pythons because yeah. my pack. So I'm gonna take those and I'm gonna attach them, like, like kind of like stick them in a little bit, mm-hmm. and then we'll tie the wire to both of the pythons. Okay. Make, a make either a stealth or sleight of hand check to hide this thing. Would you like to help me with that? She yes. What are you putting out the door outside of my bedroom? Who's yes. helping who, okay. and you'll get advantage. Uh, you're, oh, you're helping, helping me. me. Hmm? <laughs> you see me do it. <laughs> no, what is my specialty? I'm soaking in the tub before I go. Okay, yeah, you're helping me. Uh, <laughs> All right. My room has its own private bathroom. So I get That's awesome. <laughs> is that, is that I get advantage? I'm going to yeah. use my uh, favorite by the gods. Okay. Are you, or are you getting yeah. advantage? Are you doing it or am I doing it? I'm I'm aiding you. This is your role to aid me. Okay. Uh, you don't... Sure. I have 15. Okay, you roll. I have 21. <laughs> All right, Seymour, you don't hear crap. You're sitting in the you're sitting in the tub, just like <laughs> having a having a nice time. You guys put the pythons in. You stretch the wire across to make sure it's like it's like really 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 uh, taut. And you're like <laughs> and you go to bed. The next morning comes. You wake up. You uh, begin writing out this letter. Um, do you have uh, any forgery a forgery kit? Yeah. Um, it would either be uh, whichever one. Minecraft would think would be more relevant, either like the. Give me that. It has DCs. Like a morgue guild, or uh, like whoever is in charge of the City of the Dead, or what guild is associated okay. with it, or like civil losses. Okay. Could Colton make a small comment? Yes. That I feel like Logan has forgotten. We straight up work for a guild. Well, yeah, the Innkeepers Guild. Mm-mm. Oh yeah, those people. We work for two. There's, there's the Harpers. There's the Zents. There's the no, the one that we the ones that are hands. basically guards. The gray hands. Yeah. Oh yeah, the for, Force Gray. Yeah, oh, Force gray. I'll do yeah. Force Gray. Okay, so like I'm part of Force Gray and I need to know information yeah. and shit. Okay, that's fine. Let's uh, make your roll possibly, unless you can just do it. A B C D E F. Um, Pretty sure it's an intelligence check. Okay. It is. Or a deception. Part of a short rest, you can produce a forged document no more than one page in length. As part of the long rest, you can produce a document that is up to four pages long. Your intelligence check using a forgery kit determines the DC for someone else's investigation check to spot the fake. Um, it's a DC 15 to mimic handwriting, and if you want to duplicate a wax seal, that's a DC 20. Okay. Um, 
I'll... So you can spend a short rest to make a forgery easy, and yeah. then you roll intelligence, and that's the DC for somebody to try to figure out if it's fake. Okay. I'll throw my whims at probability All instead right. of taking a 16, so I will be adding wax. What'd you get? I'm going to get into a lot of trouble is what I got. <laughs> What'd you get? Uh, an 11. Okay. No, a 10. Um, so you put a wax seal on it, and it's like, mm, it looks fancy, and you forge it, and you in the writing and the elegantness that you use, and you make this letter. So it's not impossible. You roll below 11. Mm-hmm. It's not like a ah, piece of shit letter. It's like, it, it might work. Mm-hmm. You're going to send it off? How long are we going to be staying? Because I might just draft another letter because this one looks like shit. Well, we have the morning. Mm-hmm. So you come out and you say that, and then you come out and you say that. Does anyone mind if I spend another hour? No, because... can I see the one that you made? I'm not there, I'm getting ready in my room. Does this look <laughs> professional? <laughs> Casting major armor on myself, I'm like putting my cloak on and getting better. Invest- roll, what'd you roll? 17. Investigation? Yeah, you can tell this you is pretty can fake. You see the seal is kind of like already fallen off a bit. Yeah, the wax was rather flaky. Probably make I another one. Yes. Oh. We don't want to get uh, in trouble. I think I'll utilize a bit of uh, mechanical luck in this, and I'll get a seven, a sixteen. Sixteen. Mm-hmm. And you, uh, the 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 oh, the the luck of mechanist comes upon okay. you and uh, and brings forth like this order. letter. It's mm-hmm. like, I don't do bad, but I don't do good. It felt like yeah. Logan was like, oh, Inquisitor is the part of Rogue where I can't roll below this number at level three. <laughs> Definitely doing that, because I can never roll below an eight now. What do you mean? Right? Isn't that what you're can, using? Can you yeah. not roll below, what can you not roll below an eight on? Uh um, six. It's insight, I think. I believe... You like the dice rolls, of course. Yes, it is. I'm terrible. I'm also going to cast me down on myself. Whenever you make an insight Dude, check, the best spell. treat a roll of seven or lower as an eight. So it's insight. Oh, okay. You're casting me drama right now? The last eight hours. Last eight hours. Oh my gosh! Yeah. You just boop! I didn't know. It, I thought it lasted like a minute. No, no. you just boop. At yeah. the what the of freaking day. crap? Yeah. Okay. And you, you just walk around all day You it. turn a spell slot into a permanent armor, basically. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. awesome. All right. It's a really nice spell. And I'm gonna wait in my room Make, until I hear something. I'm just okay. gonna sit outside. Make an insight check. Just be watching, see what's over. Insight. What's your passive perception? Uh, thirteen. Okay. What's my, your insight? Uh, fourteen. So. Seventeen. Ira, make a deception check. Oh. <laughs> You're bad at that. Ten. Ira's kind of just standing in the room, just like. <clears throat> Which room? He's he's in. There's there's a room where it leads to all the other bedrooms. Okay. And he's just standing in there waiting, and he's just got this sly look on his face as he was talking to you. Have you done something? <laughs> Nothing that concerns you. It's it's fine. Just, Lucy. You know if I am tormented. It's I need your help. I will bring the hell on my way. of mountains you. upon you. As you say, <laughs> mountains <laughs> upon you, the door opens. Make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> 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 Ooh, <that's> uh, 15. <laughs> and you watch as Seymour walks out the door, and he eh, he's and he sees you're like, I will bring the mountains of hell. And he, and your foot trips over a, a, a wire, and you're like, whoa! And you catch yourself, and you yeah. just kind of stand there. And I transform into uh, Micah. You guys, both of you watch <laughs> as he transforms his form into somebody else. I opened my door to Who were you when you walked out? I, I was Lucy. Okay. Yeah. And and no, have we seen oh, Micah? Why are you me? Oh, it's a I don't know. To another girl. I don't know. Maybe because there's a wire, which is something I taught you how to do. No, he did not. I were... learned it before mm-hmm. you did. No. No. Y- yes. <laughs> How's it? Yeah. Do with this. Yeah. <laughs> yes, no, yeah. No, don't play this on other people. Ooh, look at me. I'm Micah. <laughs> and I think. <faint>. I'm. <laughs> oh, you're Micah, so you were both the same person. Yes. Okay. You faint? Yes, Roll I performance. Have 
Ah, shit. <laughs> 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 what did uh, you get? Uh, seven. It's fine, I rolled a six. <laughs> you uh, faint. You're like bullshit. You're like, oh no! <laughs> like she's, oh, she's unconscious. I'll go over there and I'll, 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 I'll like bend down. Who do you think you're fooling? <laughs> Who do you think you're fooling, Micah? I'll, I'll look up at the pink <laughs> Micah and I'll be, I, t- I did help her a bit. It wasn't my idea though. It was, it was hers. It's got it a piece helped. of fuzz on your face. <laughs> like, did I actually have mm-hmm. these? Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know who mm-hmm. you're fooling. Mm-hmm. All right. I, I transform back into Lucy. Okay. All right. I can get you back for that. No, you won't. Yes. No, you won't. I'm watching you too. You watched that. I did. <laughs> I really watched I'll every second that one of it. You. Yeah. Hey. I feel like this is just Chinese part we two. Should, we should get them next. Oof. Oh no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we need to learn. What we also I need to learn the. Why are the these people the people who yeah. try yeah. robots? Yeah. <laughs> In that aspect, yes. Hmm. What? Come up with something wrong. No. Do what he was doing. Learn that. I'll get that. Someone's here. All right. Is there anything I should watch out for? Oh, no, that's it. That was it. <laughs> you go down the stairs and you tumble. Just <laughs> like, oh, just, God damn it. <laughs> they put these everywhere. Not because of wire, just because your feet are Just because I suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll open the door. All right, you, you open there? the door to what? Is there like a banister? A banister? Yeah. That I could like slide down? Do you know what a banister is? I do know what a banister is. No, there's not a banister. Oh, you said it sounded a very... Banister? A banister? The Lannisters? Uh, okay, so... <laughs> there are... Four halflings at the front door. You open it, and they're all standing there. These short little dudes. And they look up. Oh, greetings, master. Good morning, gentlemen of the Lollipop Guild. <laughs> 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 One of them in the back's like, <laughs> like laughing, and he goes, uh, we heard this inn was opening up, and we was wondering if we could join and help and, and work here. We're just looking for jobs. Well, do you have resumes? Resumes? We've worked in several taverns before. We, we, uh, we could serve drinks, uh, clean tables, you know, th- things and the like. We take low pay, we don't need much. Is there any particular tavern that you've worked at that I might be familiar with? Um, well, uh, you ever heard of, uh, the, 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 the Rat's Corner? Is that in town? Uh. Th- that's me asking the deal. Roll history. Can, can yeah, we the rest of us roll? 19. Cool. Are you guys coming down? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, roll history. 19. Uh, uh, you, you think for a second, you're like, oh, yeah, it's like really, it's in the southern side of town. It's kind of like run down tavern. Like, it's not, it's, it's not great. If we, uh, we, we was looking to, uh, possibly, you know, get some jobs and just feed our friend, our families. We do need. And one of, oh, one of the females in the back. Well, we'll take a few copper a day. Not too much. This is a pretty good deal. But will they earn us more than two copper a day? Oh, we will, Master, we will! If they don't, it's only a few days. You're hired. Yeah. Yes. Alright. Names? Oh, uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm Kelso Fiddlewick, and this is, this is Dasha Snow Beetle. And I'm Danica Fiddlewick, Kelso's younger sister, and this is, uh, Bryn Hill Topple, and she waves. I got like Kelso, two of those names. Kelso, Dasha, Danica, and Bryn. Kelso, Kelso, Dasha, Danica, Bryn. What state Dasha. is our inn right now? Or our tavern? It's been fixed up, so it's all good. Um, you guys have been getting the supplies in, in robes. Okay. You could open up the tavern now if you wanted to. Uh, has our food in I'm gonna say yes. arrived? Yeah, screw well, it. Well, um, you're... I'm sorry. The, uh... The ale and things are in, in the cellar. Uh, the food is currently being put into the kitchen. And, right. um I think the second floor is still under renovation, but we could open today. Wait, is the second floor going to be a floor that we use for... Mm. That would be a different project for a different time, I would yes. assume. 
I don't think we'll be... Don't you sleep on the second floor? Yes. yes. That's why There's I'm only there. two rooms on the second floor. There are two on the top floor and then the attic room. Well, we do have the spare room that we could rent out, but there's only one room. I don't Which, know my that dear this underlings. was never meant to be an inn. I think it was just meant to be a tavern. Mm. I don't believe we should close our minds to new ideas. Yes, maybe eventually we can... Well, perhaps they could take the attic. Your master's first task for today uh-huh. is to go and spread the... What the hell are we calling this tavern? That's a good question. Is it not called the, um, the, uh, uh Troll Skull Inn? Mm. It's not an inn. Troll Skull Tavern? Maybe. Come inside, give us a moment. They're inside already. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, Actually, if you guys could start comparing stuff. Yes. Well, uh, yeah, what should we do? Um. Give me a moment. First, I'm sorry to cut you off again. Believe we should come up with a name. Mm. All right, out of game real quick, just to take a step back. Yep. What is the state of our inn right now? Is it is it cleaned it's up? It's ready, yeah. It okay. Is, yes, ready. All right, do we have all the furniture that is on the map? Correct. Okay. Cool. I, I'm sorry, just what I was going to suggest in game is that Basically, they spend today to spread the word. Just go out into the city. Yeah, like a grand opening. Grand opening, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then tomorrow. So we'll open we'll be tomorrow. Open. Yeah. So we'll be paying them basically to get customers. So that's that's why Minecraft sort of wants a name now, so they we, can get started. Uh, do we know if uh, halflings are well liked in the city? Oh yeah, people love halflings. Cool. Halflings are super lovable in every city. Like that's what I figured. I if there's wanted. a halfling you don't like, it must be a real asshole of a halfling. That's, that's the drow of halflings. It's like Canadians, like, but better. <laughs> <laughs> like, so much more. Like, halflings have never done anything wrong, and if they have, they were just a shit ass asshole. Like, like the rotten apple of the bunch. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Go around, like, cutting people. <laughs> yeah. um, Name Sphinx. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh... Should it be thematic? I, th- I was thinking something along the lines of... What like, about the rat tail? Um... Don't, did you work for them? Sorry. Maybe... What maybe were you saying? Maybe something to do with the spirit. Oh, we do have a poltergeist. Spirit? spirit? Oh. Poltergeist? One, one is in, is in the pantry and it looks back. I've been calling him... Yeah, but cheese! What about cheese? Like the cheese. You will be paid so sweet. to interact <laughs> with the customers. I, 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 have an, I have an idea, guys. What about the haunted booze? Oh, I quite like the haunted booze. Who says booze. that? One of the it's, halflings. It's, uh, What's your name? It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> is it Kelso? It's, 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 it's uh, a play on words. It's, yeah? uh, it's they're haunted and it's also booze. Well, I was thinking it's... Say boo, if we're, no, it's Dasher. It's also the name of the Dasher. Oh, Dasher. I thought it was Dasher's. Dasher's. No, what does that mean? I figured if we were going to put it Oh, I get it. It's, like it's kind of like, it's like you know, I like like boo. It's a ghost like a boo, but yeah. it's the boos. The haunted boos. <laughs> I, I felt like we were going to be a little classier than yes. that. I would think and something along the lines does of this, does And play this, off of spirits. The spirit and spirits, simply. Mm. It's lacking something. Yes. More than one word. I agree. <laughs> spirit. Like, replace that first word with something else. But then keep that second one. The Spectre in Spirits. But the Haunted Booth is really good. I like that one. Okay. The Spectre in Spirit. Spirits. We serve the Spectre seven. Spectre Spirits. Or, yes. or, you could do the cheesy one liner. Buddies. <laughs> the cheesy buddies. Very Who good. says that? Uh, You're uh, fired. Bring. Get the hell out of it. <laughs> Bryn, the smallest of the of the I four love halflings. I your hair so much. Thanks. Well, maybe we'll go to never say that again. The cheesy boy buddies. <laughs> the cheesy boys. <laughs> <laughs> what thing better? Well, no. What would win? Haunted booze or the cheesy boys? Which of you is the best? All of them are like, oh, I quite like the cheesy boys. <laughs> <laughs> Which one of you is the this best? Is why the boss. Baking. Uh, they kind of look at each other. Preparing things of any sort. Uh, so oh, 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 yeah, oh, oh, yeah. I like the Kelso, yeah. Yes. <laughs> no. Um, you can. I think you should maybe stay. You can. And, um, you should. Prepare, maybe make a list of items we could sell. Food-related items. Um, and right. then 
tomorrow when we open, you can teach the others how to prepare them. Will do. Mm-hmm. We Goes over to the pantry. Commission someone to get a sign. Are we settling on the spectre and spirits? The spectre and spirits. I like it. Sure. Ira? Mm-hmm. Um, I, I know be... we just, like, completely dismiss your uh, haunted booze. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's I just can't stand for that. It seems to happen a lot. My, my sister booze. doesn't like puns. There was there will be no puns. Mm-hmm. Does this, like this place look no. like it's a place that would... Never had. On Mycroft, our menu. Mycroft, I know you don't like, you don't like puns, but... Puns make people come in. You used a pun yourself, the spirit and spirits. Hedgy loved puns. Yes. Like, I think why I don't go to them anymore. Mm-hmm. That's a pun in and of itself. It's more like Although perhaps perhaps our food. perhaps our dishes could all be spook themed too. Yes, I so like that. So the booze um, could be a, a beer of some sort. Yeah, we could have a, a cheesy boys one named just for the people that like those kind of puns. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, this is how we could do Kelso. this. So you walk in and oh, you walk yeah. in because you like the name, if you could, and then you also everything's try a pun maybe, uh, based off of the name. Make the, the names greatest. of the foods. Uh, Man, I'm falling out of the accent really hard. Uh, follow <laughs> the theme. Oh. I mean, I, I've, I've done a couple Can of them. Can, yeah. can do. Yeah. Can um, do. Mm-hmm. I just when, I, when I was at work, I defaulted to like immediately mentally, I would just say yes sir a lot. Right. Not at all English, but <laughs> I said it. Moving forward. You All can right. be in charge of the menu. Never let Mycroft look at it. Cool. There's a knock. There's a knock at the door, and it kind of opens. Uh, and you hear a hello. Hi. Yes. Uh, you see uh, a human um, man step in with a. Uh, he's very well dressed, um, and he has a young scribe who wears spectacles and uh, looks to be uh, silently taking notes. Um, it's this uh, younger uh, tiefling uh, girl who's sitting there, just kind of watching by. Looks like a scribe, from what you can tell. And you see this uh, this man step in. Says, uh, "Greetings, uh, I'm Hammond Craddock. I'm with the Brewers Guild. I've been supplying your uh, alcohol. Yes, yes. Um, you've met this guy. He's who you set up everything with. And he's and he says, you're, uh, you're going to be starting this place up pretty soon.' Yes, tomorrow. Good. good. Um, your people, you you stay in here, right?" Yes. Okay, all right, all right. You're not going out and doing any adventures or anything like that. You're yeah. just going to be staying here. Staying all right, all right. Just making sure. We like to stay out of trouble. Oh, good. I've uh, had adventurers run taverns before, and it never, never goes well. So I'm just making sure that uh, this is a permanent business here to stay. I can make a lot of money from what you guys are going to yes. do here. Good, good, good. Uh, place looks great. Looks great. Um, I, I have a question. I've only heard just a bit of it. Um, is this place uh, haunted? Uh, yes, it is. Absolutely. Oh, yes. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> That's very interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, very, very interesting. Well, it was good to see. Uh, everything's in uh, in order. I just wanted to check in. Um, oh, this is Ginny. She kind of looks up and knows that you guys. Very nice, very nice. The spirit that lives here is quite uh, friendly, though. Oh, <laughs> easy. <Yes. laughs> uh, very good. He is very fond of breaking plates, though. Um... Well, uh, in the coming few weeks, uh, we have some new brews that'll be uh, available to you. I'd uh, very much encourage you to try them out. They're uh, very, very nice. Anyways, uh, good day to you all. Walks out the door. Ax- walks out the door. The door. The door. <laughs> walks out the door. <laughs> My good sir, would you be familiar? Oh no, we have an answer. Never mind. He's like leaving. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. And he there walks well. out. <laughs> I've crossed my own thoughts. <clears throat> so we have someone taking inventory. Yes, and creating a menu. I believe the three others, since we are clean, should go out into the city and spread the word. And maybe also commission a sign? Yes, actually. So we the don't... bent nail round the corner. Oh, yes. They do woodwork. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. So, good I will travel there. I will need to collect funding for... Oh, I have that. the excess money. How much would that be? Um, 1,800 gold pieces. <laughs> oh, that's right. The uh, loan, yes? Yes. That was what was left over. After. So, uh, sorry. Go ahead. Keep going. How much did we loan out initially? Oh, wait. It might be 1,200. Yes, 1,200 gold pieces. So, uh, so something for you guys. Uh, if you want, we can have a 10-day go by, basically a week, where you guys are actively... Um, setting up your tavern while also searching all of the wards throughout the week. Um, at the end of the week, I can tell you what you learn, and you can also make some see what happens with your with your business like and that. whatnot. 
Yes. I like that a lot. All right, cool. Um, How are we doing in terms of progression? Just progression? Yeah. Uh, what do you mean? Are we like, doing well? Are we are we actually getting stuff done? Oh yes, yeah, you're fine. Okay. Um, can I add one more thing to mm-hmm. that? Uh, could my brother and I be doing uh, basically what we said the halflings ought to do, but like performing instead of? Yes. Um, let's look at. If uh, I could collect one hundred gold and yes. return the change yes. or whatever, thank you. Um, then I'll head over there. No problem. Uh, yeah, you guys can do different things to give you a little bit of a bonus on your on your um, on your business table, um, if you'd like. You guys have paid all of your debts, so you're all good there. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are you guys wanting to do? Uh, Just want to spread the word? Spread the word while performing and maybe making a little bit of... Gold. Make either performance or persuasion checks. Mm, I'm going to do persuasion because I'm better at it. All right. Wait. Oh, are we, we're like singing songs in order to get word up? Yeah, okay. and then, yeah. Uh, you also have hirelings that you've hired. So uh, those, those guys show up. It's about five or six other employees that also run the tavern that are just humans. Um, and they, they run the place for halflings that you've also hired. Um, I used my uh, favored by the gods. Um, <laughs> oh, and I got geez. a 26. Oh, okay. 19. Yeah, you guys uh, spread the, the hell out of out of um, your new tavern. You make a cool little song out of uh, Spirits and Specters. Is that what it's called? Specter and Spirits. Specter and Spirits. Specter and spirits. Um, and Single Specter, lots of spirits. Nice. Uh, and you guys begin to upstart your tavern, um, and it's pretty dang cool. It's been quite a bit running their business during that time. The big name item is the haunted booze. The haunted haunted booze. booze. That's actually what they're coming out with. So, uh, because of your good rolls, um, you you add a plus five, you also add a plus five, so you're getting a plus ten along with your plus ten already. Do we, do we make any money on the side? Um. Wait, what? What are we getting, like, a plus fifteen for? To see how well our thing is doing. Oh, okay. You you make a percentage roll on the running a business table to see if you guys made any. Uh, yeah, you make six gold on the side. Sweet. Three three. Three three. So, um, Mycroft is going to go to the bent nail. Okay, you make your way in. There's the the guy there. Oh, huh? huh? my good sir, I would like to commission you for a sign. Uh, like a wooden sign? Yes, sir. Sure. We are starting around the corner. Um, we have. Decided upon the title of the Specter and Spirits. Oh, good name, good name. I uh, can have that done for you. So, five gold pieces. All right, I will pay it in full. It's like a hundred. Shut up. Just in case, five gold. Piece of wood. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Can you make it snazzy for ten? Nah. Oh, who said that? <laughs> uh, yep, have that done in an hour. Thank you, good sir. Mm-hmm. You come back in an hour and you grab it and you uh, attach it to wow. the, your, right. your, your your thing and it now says this spirits and specters and spirits specter and spirits specter and spirits specter and spirits and I will bring you sixty gold. Cool. Wow, expensive sign. Yes, well he is a professional. And then I'm. <laughs> this, is your, this is your tavern starting up. Would that be a deception? I mean, I'm not. I'm not. You're not, you're not. She's questioning. very very busy running yes. a business. I'm just a dick. All right, so you've got uh, six other people working in the tavern, along with the four halflings. So you have ten hirelings, mm-hmm. um, each of which that you pay fifty gold per ten day uh, for Doesn't all of them, right and then ten gold for oh, all of the day. other expenses. So it's sixty gold by the end of the week. Mm-hmm. Um, those are just regular expenses. Um, you barely have to pay the halflings, so it's not.
dangerous? Um, I, I was it's up to you guys. Is that how it works? I mean, you are doing the bulk of the run. I was, was going to give you like 10 of my 20. Um, we we'll figure that out out of game. Okay. Yeah. Throughout the week, there are many different people that show up to uh, check out your tavern. Um, uh, one of the, your, your, the guy you're in contact with, the Guild of uh, Butchers, is this dude that's just like creeps you out. He's this dead eyed, a slack jawed dude named Justin. Mm-hmm. He's this massive guy who comes by and he like he's got this sack of meat and he <laughs> throws it down um, when he um, brings it to your doorstep uh, each month to deliver. A cartload of chopped meat for the tavern's larder. Um, every time he shows up, he's like, "My delivery fee." Uh, and that would be how much? As far as you're aware, he already gets paid for delivery, but he's like asking for like an extra tip. Um, Three gold. I good. suggest you uh, pay me the gratuity of a uh, situation. Kill him. Kill him. Are we, in a situation, are we in a situation where the rest of us can hear this going on? Jacob? This is like the tavern's going on and he's at the front door and she's there, so you guys can see this happening. I'll give him two gold. Thanks. I'll walk you know what? Uh, just remember. Mm-hmm. Maybe next time you don't offer me my uh, delivery fee. The meat might be someone you know. He turns around and he walks away. We need to hire a new butcher. We need to kill him. That's a horrible way to run a business. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I like walk over, mm-hmm. like, as that happens, and I'm like, yeah, maybe we don't okay. use that guy next time. <laughs> the meat's really good, though. Is I there don't. anyone else that we can use? Do you know? No. I'm really not comfortable with us not being able to trust the meat of our own tavern. Ooh, eye for deception. So. If he's lying? Well, yeah, like when he makes that threat, if it's just like hollow thievery. Uh, ear for. Deceit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's like what this <laughs> class is going for. Someone's getting messages. Twenty-one. Not me. Um, is yours always like that? Is, is he just being a douche, or is he like? Did you just see the thing? A super murderer. The whole Sorry, story. I'm looking at. What... Hmm. Is it the? Uh... Must just be Edge. Probably. I don't know what's happening. Were you able to get? I'm pretty Spend sure uh, Sari just uh, either once finished he sent or it to has message. heavily Not updated finished. updated the art of. Uh, you should roll it that more often. The art of a character he's having her drawn. It's a it's, villain. You need 2d20. I was giving it back to you. Oh. This <laughs> dice. You don't roll enough two. It's the second time I rolled a two with that thing. I rolled it twice and I rolled two two. What the hell? <laughs> dude, roll like, dude, keep doing that. I'll say in Goblin. Uh, dude, so that's how you need to roll your dice. How, Every how roll has been positive. I think she would <laughs> um, I have to be sassy. <laughs> What the fuck? We can, we can give them, like, food. Mm-hmm. She has a room below him, 15. Um, um, okay. Rat. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we have rats. Uh, one of the days, uh, a a a, uh, a shield dwarf woman... Wait, what? Bitch. So, oh, sorry. You're yeah. talking new shit. What was it? 21. Is he being a dick, or is he going to kill somebody that I love? Oh, he's being a dick. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Don't ever pay him a fee again. You, you could really freak him out. I'll come out as him. Oh, but like, like not okay. in the sense of like, yeah. oh, if you don't pay, like, mm. he's threatening possibly like we won't have business anymore mm. if you don't pay me this because this meat is hard as hell to get and I require this. So it's more of like a threat to be like, what I. But it's kind of like a dark, twisted joke to him. So he's going another level than he actually Jacob. is. Worth. Yeah, you're not the only tavern he yeah. he supplies, so he probably tells us to everybody. Would I know if he's just the delivery boy or if he owns the business? Um. It's Justin Feldman. Yeah. He is a butcher. He but he is a butcher and he is a delivery boy, but he doesn't own the guild of butchers. Okay. Um. Make sure to speak to the guild. You can kind of yeah. tell that this guy grew up in one of the tougher neighborhoods of the field ward because he's got scars all over him. And it just looks like he fucking hates his job. I'll write a letter out. We could just give him, you know, like. So he's just. A free beer. He's just mm-hmm. resentful. Maybe. You gonna try to turn him around? Yeah. I was gonna we've, track we've him. We've grown up. Empty his house. And rough streets. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna track him and empty oh, his yeah. house. Well, if. if, if <laughs> 
Oh, you guys are going to be good people? I was just going to make yeah, his life fucking horrible. Like <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can see where he's coming from. Um, a uh, female shield dwarf um, <clears throat> teleports in front of the tavern at one point. With a shield guardian next to her, oh, um, and she's wearing um, uh, like dead. mage clothing, and she steps in and she nods and she she walks over and she orders a drink uh, and she uh, goes over and, and she sits down and she's just taking a look. Hello, uh, greetings. How can I help you? Hi. Oh, uh, no worries. I'm just uh, with the watchful order of Majests and protectors. Just uh, keeping an eye out. You know, I come by every tavern every so um, once in a while just to keep an eye out. Do you know? Find um, Barnabas. Oh, the shield guardian is actually waiting outside, though. All right. So, mm-hmm. um, do, you know, do you know where I could find Barnabas? Um, Still very intimidating. But he's yes. taller than me. Don't, Te- dude, don't teleporting things. outside is very polite instead of just teleporting straight inside. She teleported outside, yeah. <clears throat> hmm? Do you find know where Barnabas. I could find Barnabas? Oh, uh, um, uh, wrong accent. Uh, uh, Bar- Barnabas, um, yes. yeah, uh, yeah, I know him. Do you, Why do you need him? Um, my colleague over there, and I'll, I'll point out to Mycroft, uh, had, had some information and some questions, uh, related to something he's working on. Alright. Yes, we are conducting a citizen's investigation in regards to the fireball that went off uh, several days ago. Mm. It's very close to our... And he offered to cross tax and share information, but we never did get that far. Barnabas wanted to give you information. Is it against his nature? He's an investigator. Why would he give you his information? Because I share his interests. And, and we, we have stuff that we might be able to give him in return that, that, could, help, that could help him out with his... With oh, his... go over to the offices and talk to him. Um, I'm not uh, Barnabas. Where, where, could those, where are those located? <sighs> hmm. where? We found where the office is located. We did? Already, yeah. oh. It's a council ward. Oh, yeah. I drafted a letter. Oh, okay. That okay. never, never went. We didn't know about that. Well... Uh, she kind of pushes her hair back. She stands up. Do you mind if I uh, take a look around? Just on the tavern floor, of course. Not at all. Just want to, you know, inspect. She begins to look around. Mind the ghost. Yes. Oh, is this place haunted? Yes. yes. You watch as the chair that she pushed out gets pushed back in. It's quite polite, though. Um, <clears throat> she's, huh. It's a very, very fun trick. Mm-hmm. She begins to kind of look around. She looks under tables, and she's just kind of expecting. Um, she walks over to the pantry, and she kind of nods. She goes inside. inside. Good. Oh, that would be 14. She looks like she's looking for any problems whatsoever. I'll, I'll, I'll walk around. Like with criminal point. activity. Like this is this is kind of like an undercover FBI agent yeah. coming into like your your restaurant like, and being like, hmm, I'm just gonna check out what's going on here, okay? Just I, I, to make sure. I'm walking around like with. So just kind of like pointing out. All right. Oh. There's also a. You know, a little oh, yeah. known it's fact it's is I uh, once owned this tavern. Mm-hmm. You you did. Yep. Well, then you know there's a cellar. And it goes. Oh, I'm aware. Yeah. Do you know anything about? I uh, sold it to a family of shield dwarves. They apparently fell on hard times and sold it to a woman who um, made it into an orphanage. So it used to be an orphanage, but uh. Turned out uh, to be a hag who was cooking and eating the children. Oh. Took that plot down pretty quickly, so I'm a little suspicious of the uh, haunted troll skull alley. Um, well, the good. That, that makes a lot of sense now. Are you, uh... Right. Uh, it's gone through many hands throughout the years, but I hope uh, you make something good out of it. Looks like you are. She looks around. That's the goal. Hmm. Look downstairs as well. She drops I... onto the ground. She begins like crawling on the on the on the floor. She she sticks her hand under one of the cupboards and she begins poking around. Are you trying to attract rats? No. No. She pulls out a bunch of cheese. They got holes back here. And cheese. Another food. That's not safe. No, Brent. I'm I'll call go, the halflings yes, over. Yes, I'm gonna go find Brent. <laughs> call the halflings over. Um, Madam. You go out the door and you call for them. 
Uh, and uh, you see one by the door. Is it Brent? Only one. And it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not. It's... It doesn't matter which one it is. <laughs> I know. Well, it does for me. <laughs> yes, but to me. <laughs> it's, uh, it's Bryn. Gosh, dang. Ah! Look, come, up, come over here for me real quick. Uh, all right. She walks over. Yeah, yeah. Yes? Are you guys hiding cheese? No. In sight? All in sight. <laughs> Ah, oh, man. It doesn't matter why you are. Eleven. She's totally lying. She's scared. She's like, Ben, you don't have to I'll, be scared. You turn up. Come on. It's all right. She grabs your hand. I'll grab it and I'm going to pull her into the pantry. Uh, you don't have to lie to us. Lying to us is how you guys get fired. Why just want to know why you're doing it. I, um, uh, Does that have anything to do with people next door? What do you mean? The tavern next door. There's a tavern next door? There is. Oh, you, what's you, it called? Are you giving them our food, our supplies? No. Are you trying to bring our tavern down for them? No. Inside. Roll inside. <laughs> I have a passive uh, There we go. 21. Uh, go ahead and roll. Okay. Passive insight's late. Passive insight is late. <laughs> uh, like 23. <laughs> This little halfling is so scared and coming up with the many, as many excuses she, she possibly can. And you're starting to Does notice like... all of the other halflings are not here. Well, where are the wisp- where are the rest of them? They're supposed to be here working. Uh, you see the dwarf lady say, I, uh, I think I'll let you handle this. Yes. She walks out the door. Thank <clears> you for finding that for us. We <clears throat> don't know how long it would have taken us to notice. <clears throat> Bryn, I really like that Look, you work here. I just want to know why you're giving rats our cheese. And, 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 and here's the thing. The two of us are going to be really nice about it, but if, if if we can't get you to tell us what's going on, then Mycroft is going to have to do it. And I really don't want Mycroft to have to do I it. Am well, roll more, I am more than seven feet tall. Roll intimidation! Uh, she she looks uh, considerably very scared. Madam, you are only familiar with one floor of this estate. You do not want to know what occurs in our attic. I will show you if you do not tell us the truth. That's all we want. We're putting the holes in the walls. How we're putting the cheese. Then the rats will come in. And whose idea was it for you to do this? It was Emix. And why was it his who idea? Who is this? It's who I work for. And who is that? He owns the tavern next door. Well. All right, well, can we, uh... Madam, you will never again set foot in this establishment. Wait. Or she could be a do double, like, double agent. Do you like working for him? Oh, I mean, he pays me. How much does he pay? He pays me in food and in other things. Lie. Madam, we are willing to one-up if you put fecal matter in his ales. Yes. When you watch as she slowly begins to transform like you've seen them do. And she kind of turns down on her arm, her arms begin to, her uh, back begins to hunch. And you watch as her face and snout begin to elongate. And she's this humanoid rat figure and she what? she turns around and she charm runs. Uh, attack of opportunity. <laughs> You're doing what? Charm person. Okay, roll charm uh, to save, right? Yeah. Uh, what do I need to be? First time I actually need to look at my spell safety. Come on, bro. Thank you. I got a natural 20. Roll damage. Yeah. Roll damage. A punch. No, I'm. Oh, you're stabbing her? Yeah. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Fucking rat people <laughs> running around. Okay, that's cool. Oh my god. Uh, six. I mean, you get sneak attack. She doesn't oh, see yeah, it coming. That's right. I forgot that sneak <laughs> and attack. And double sneak attack because you get a natural 20, right? I believe so, yeah. Never mind. All right, just uh, fucking kill her. No, no, don't, don't even worry about it. Okay. It's uh, you, you. I was like, <laughs> begins casting the spell, and as soon as you cast it, like you all watch man. as uh, Mycroft's arm is already across uh, his chest, 
and uh, and uh, there's just a blood-stained rapier. She <laughs> falls onto the ground, and uh, there's just a slice across the back of her neck. As just and it just bleeds out. Where is this happening at? Is in she, the in the pantry. Yeah. Is she dead, dead, or can I Casper? The Drag her back into the pantry. You rock over and Casper the dying. You seal the wound, and she's at zero hit points. I'm gonna drag her to the pantry. She's what already in the pantry, and the door shut. She was about to run out. Why do you do that when? What if she had opened the door? She is a before rat you person. sliced. She didn't. I mean, he just to go like this. murder. Is Watch still it. Murder. Uh, don't want you to be arrested. Yeah, pretty much. I'm just okay. like I don't know what's happening. <laughs> well, but from Bruce. Well, I'm gonna take my rope. I'm gonna tie her up. Okay. You tie her up. When the uh, tavern closes. How big is this? How big is this person? She's small. Small. Uh, medium actually, medium sized. Uh, but. Uh, how, how big? They're f- four feet tall, so s- short for a person. Uh, but it's this r- humanoid rat figure. Tail and everything. Would we know that when we go unconscious, we go back into, like, changeling form? We do. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so, like... This is likely very their, clearly their a, a rat form. folk. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think we should wait until the tavern closes and then move her. Well, we it's about 4 p.m. The tavern's open until about 10. We also need to round up to the rest of them. Do we think they're all? They're gone. She said that they were all working for him, mm. putting the cheese in the holes. Oh. I can dig the cheese out of the holes and you guys round the rest of them up. Yeah, I'm gonna exit and the pantry and see if any of them are still in here. I'll, I'll take because I already cut one sleeve. I'll cut the other sleeve equally. Okay. And like like fashion a gag out of it, and I'll gag. Okay. You you gag her. That way, when she's in the pantry. Oh fuck. Keep keep an eye on her. And I'll press digitation, clean all the blood up. Oh okay. You uh, clean off that uh, little little uh, floorboard. See, Minecraft. This is why spells are helpful. I didn't have to get the mop. I just mm. went. Boop. And it happened. Yes, okay. but cleaning blood stains doesn't kill people. I don't need to kill people if they never know I'm there. That's why I do it. Well. Is there like a place in the pantry that we don't currently have food stocked? Uh, no. Pull like a barrel out of the corner and stick her right there. Okay, you have an empty barrel, so. I don't want to put her inside the barrel, I, I just want to move the. Our workers are going to come in here to get more food. They don't need to see. I can carry the barrel outside. Huh? Put her in the barrel, then no, upstairs into the attic. Mm, that's a little odd. I like my room not filled with rat stench. But then you can show her what happens. I don't. Nothing want... happens. <laughs> I snore loudly. <laughs> that's something. I think that maybe we should just get her out of here. And the door we'll be... <laughs> pushes, but it Mycroft standing up against it, so it. it uh, I need to. I will be oh, about a one, moment. One moment. All oh, right. Uh, well, now it sounds like we're having gay sex. <laughs> I'm in here. There are two females in here with us. They don't know that, but they will. I two men. We're having an orgy. Spotted. Please leave us alone. Ew, ew, <laughs> oh, all right. Sorry. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're having a meeting, guys. In the pantry. In the, yes. Well, so we're gonna have our meeting, Minecraft. Put her in the barrel. You take the barrel outside. Is another at the door? Hey, hey. One moment. I put her in the barrel. Have to. Put put the lid on it. Okay. And just carry it upward. I'm not gonna carry it upstairs. All right. You you step outside. There's a back door. Um. You uh. No, there's not. Pantry. No, there's not a back door. It's a pantry. Uh. You you make your way out, and there's about two other guys. And they're looking for them. They're like, oh. There are three doors in the pantry room. There's three doors in the pantry room. One leads outside. One leads to That's the what I to the tap room, and one leads to the kitchen. I'll go outside. Outside. Okay. Wrap around. One. Oh, a few of the workers uh, come in. They're like. Oh, said there was a. Never mind. And they walk in. They <laughs> the food and yeah, they walk we're being out. sarcastic. No, I, no, I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe just leave her. I'll, I'll go to one of the workers. Have I gotta go take my break, take a Did cold you, shower or something. Did you, <laughs> you try to come in? You gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Did you try to come in because you thought they were serious? No. No, 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 no. Seven. You believe him? I don't. <laughs> Good. He goes back to serve some bread and Maybe cheese. He thinks you're very handsome. Wait, are we trusting these guys? No. Okay. 
uh, our other workers. Who was that that walked in? Jacob. Hmm? Who was that that walked in? Well, one of your one of your hirelings, one of the servers. I'm not just trust. Not one of the halflings, though. No. no. Oh, okay. The rest right. of them are humans. Would one of you like to, to go across the way with me and uh, see if our other workers are hanging out at that type of tavern? At Fruins Brews. Really positive that they are. I'm really wanting. Well, we can discuss this later. Let's just go right now. And maybe we, or should we not reveal that? I could transform into. Right there. You could. I want to be there. <laughs> You want to be there? Right. Well, no, like, we in the conversation. So, uh, so I, what do you I can do? watch her upstairs if you want. Oh, well, if she's upstairs, in, then we'll go upstairs. She's not all upstairs. right, you guys are all upstairs. What? We're going... Did you I'm, brought her back up around upstairs, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, if she's in the barrel, and the barrel's closed, mm-hmm. and there's a hole in the barrel so she can breathe, mm-hmm. and she's tied up and has a gag on, she can't open the barrel. Mm-hmm. You can... Transform into anyone, correct? Mm-hmm. Why not enter his establishment several times as different people and proclaim how absolutely horrid the ale and food he serves? Mm-hmm. We could is. just like bring like bugs and like put them well, in our th- yes. or, There's there's or. plenty of things we could do. We could we could one do what you were saying you and just do all negative reviews. You we could, could we could write songs. Enters them. Enters the war, enters yes. her, and then get paid for doing a job that she did. This is also true. Then we have to keep her in the attic for months at a time. Um, I also well, really want. There's a problem with that. I'd we also really have to, to masquerade around here as her, and I don't really feel like doing that. I um, also really want to cut open a rat and then put it in all of their drinks. That would be good. Oh, yeah. We do have one. The... No, a it's rat. A sentient not... rat. That's a. That's a person. It's dark. Don't it's very dark. We're not killing them. Damage my crop, I think you're rubbing off on me. Well. Anyways, those are my options. Um, I also really wanted to what? put this this person, mm-hmm. Bryn. 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 I wanted to put Bryn next to a fireplace and just let her let her feel. Damn it, Jacob. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. No, I believe we should remove her from the city. From the city. Yes. Take her outside I of town. I thought you were going to be like, we should remove her from, from life. life. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out. Stabs the barrel on her. <laughs> oh, no. If you want to rent a, magic a, trick. A, a cart. Wine. Leave the town for. Or I could just place her <laughs> on a cart. Tell it to Haven't you that. ever seen the Emperor's New Groove? What is that? No. <laughs> <laughs> we don't go to plays that often. da 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 Da-da. Turk shows up. Yeah. And we did determine the art the well. yawning portal to get you to send it, right? <gasps> no, whenever you determined <gasps> that, I never said yes. How does that how does the yawning portal work? You can jump down the hole and go to the anywhere. Can you throw a barrel down the it's, hole? It's it's random. You could yeah, you could fucking Gentlemen, I will return promptly. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna fucking throw no, her to like the two more orders. You didn't say it out loud. So. Yeah, I don't know. You're taking her outside of town? Yes. All right. That way, she will not be dead. She will be safe, and yes. we will have clean hands. Yes. Yet, she, her body would never be found, and she can never return and blaspheme our what actions. What do you mean? If you're just taking her outside of town, leave her out there for... Well, she won't know where she is. She'd have to find her way back. I yes. Guess. All right. That works for I me. will be back. It's going to take you like f- three, four hours to walk over the yawning Jesus. portal. What we're doing? That's we're right, doing a, a ten day, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so over the course <laughs> of that time, uh, you go over to the yawning portal. It takes you quite a while during the day. Are you carrying the barrel? Are you carrying it or are you going to carriage? Carriage would um, make it be a lot less than three to four hours. It'd be a silver to get you over there. I'm a Goliath. Oh, yeah. It weighs nothing. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. And you walk all the way over there. It's a whole day trip. I think you're down to the yawning portal. Uh, this is the day of not cars. Uh, and you uh, go over. There's tons of people inside. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the the portal itself is, like, massive. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there's lots of people watching it at all times. Mm-hmm. So you're going to be pretty, pretty stealthy to pull this off. Because it's not like people don't try this. 
Yeah. Okay. Um, so what we'll do is, um, as I'm going there, anyone... Okay, so before I leave, I'll write on the side, like... Ale, just like sour ale, with a really old date on it. Okay. Like it's rotten as shit. All right, you write that on. And uh, going through there, fuck, I'll fill it with ale. <laughs> you, okay, you go over and buy a barrel of ale mm -hmm. in the yawning portal. No, like at at where we are. I'll just like take one of our. He's going to use one of our yeah. casks to put some ale in it. Okay. You open it, and you see her look up at you. Madam, you are going to... She's gagged. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very soon, enjoy inebriation beyond measure. <laughs> uh, she's going to attack you. But she's tied. She's tied up and gagged. She's bound, yeah. Oh. I tied her up with a rope and then gagged her. She's just squirming, trying to get out, and you pour the ale in. <laughs> and it's like pouring on her face, and it's it's about to about here. She's trying to get out, and she can't move. Well, eventually she'll be unconscious. You're filling it all the way. You fill it to the brim. <laughs> You're just gonna kill her. Shove the lid on. <laughs> well, I'll do Jesus halfway. Christ. Halfway. No, all I right. like this. I like. <laughs> That's more brutal. So she's, she's, she's just taking a bath in her throat. I like okay. mafia style. Then you, you're, are you putting the lid back on? Yeah. That's a that's gonna be a contest. She's trying to keep it up with her head. Nah. I'll knock her out again. Roll attack. Okay. I mean, she's prone and oh shit, grappled and she everything. She gets a chance. Okay. Okay. That's true. Uh, very well. That is a twenty-one. <laughs> she's up. Okay. Take her to the yawning portal. Walk your way over to the yawning portal. Let's see how long she'll be unconscious. Halfway through your journey, you hear <laughs> in the barrel. <laughs> Maybe you should have splurged for that card. What? To go faster. Hmm. <laughs> you just hear water sloshing around. I like to, to uh. Is there a sewer nearby? Yeah. Okay, I'll drop down. Okay, you get open the grate and you, you make your way down. Make <laughs> 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 your way back up. Walk down the street. You're almost there. After an hour. <laughs> Serious, it's what I'm rolling. <laughs> oh look, another sewer. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a really shitty escort mission. <laughs> okay, you make your way to the honor. Really You're inside now, there's tons of people. You see some guy with brown hair looks very strangely out of place as he walks by. He's like, oh sorry, and he makes his way along with some weird books. One titled Dungeon Master's Guide as he continues yeah, to walk by. Mm -hmm. My own business, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going through Matt the just portal. has a single tear. <laughs> uh, make your way by, um, continuing to push past, push past some strange characters, and you're at a table right next to the the portal. The the hole itself has a has a like a top, and it's about this high. So when you sit down, you don't look over it, but you can peer over it yep. if you want. It's just darkness. Drop it in. Like nonchalantly, just eh. yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna make a fucking big deal about it. I'm just throwing away sour ale. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a garbage shoot, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Literally, there's a guy who's like, "Hey, don't do shit down there." I'll never do it again. Yeah, get the fuck out. Let's go. There's like, yeah, don't throw shit down the yawning portal unless you're gonna go in. Why Jordan's does it like, matter? Get out of my tavern. You don't put shit down there unless you pay. How much do I owe you? Five gold. Lower your tone and I will pay you six. It's not an incredible fee. I'll pay him six gold. All right, you can give it to him. 
And he kind of nods and he goes back to serving drinks. I mean, I'm leaving. And then you leave. Nothing to do. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you go back. Can you can you guys start can putting poop in the bush? It tells us where. Uh... Well, you don't get to know. She'll be back at the very end of the game, working She's with the Manchu. This character shows up in the center. <laughs> Not everything goes asunder. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's be or in test right? <laughs> no. No. No, she's somewhere and you have no idea where she went. Damn. She's probably in some dungeon somewhere. Mm. In like a... She's in Cholt. <laughs> Li- it's Could literally like that? just uh, some random dungeon that she's in. Just finally breaks like, out. All tied <laughs> up. Go back. Finally breaks open and... And, and the just, tomb of horrors is just sitting upon it. Could you imagine an, that encountering that in a dungeon if she didn't escape? Like you just walk up to a barrel that's like shaking and it's like, like slashing around. Hill. Yeah. <laughs> you like, big hole in the ceiling. What the fuck? Uh. Hey, do you mind if I uh, handle the decorations around the tavern? This is to 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 you as well. I got to do menus. What are so. what are your ideas? I'll see him gain, gain like some. Oh, succulents. all of the all of the food yeah. items, all of them are named. Uh, the uh, the the cheesy delight, um, the rat snack, what? the uh, the, the stinky yes. mess. I guess I didn't handle naming. You told the halflings to do it. No. I told the halflings to do it. I oh. Didn't. Yeah, and they named a few of the the the, the we foods. Do, we do also have. And they're they're all rat and item. cheese themed. Why did we go with a rat theme? I it was. I'm gonna the, pull the it down. Okay. People. I didn't reading. know. They couldn't right. be more fired. <laughs> Yeah, no, rat snack sounds really gross. As you make your way back to the tavern, you can hear um, the cheesy shark. Uh, a one of <laughs> the cheesy shark, hot cheese, the hot cheese shark. Um, as you're making your way back, <laughs> um, you're uh, as you're on one of the streets that's coming nearby, um, and you're just making your way around. There's a there's a a yeller, one of those fucking, the news people, and they fucking yell in street corners. Town crier? Yeah. The town crier. Um, and he says, uh... They're literally just called newsies. Spectre and spirits here in that rat in the tavern! No! My, my child. Ah! How much are you being paid to shout this? Um, a lot. It's how, it's how I make my money. What is a lot to you? What? We have nobles who consider millions of dragons. It's news! You're gonna try and shut me up? Is it not true? No, I want you to shift it because it isn't true. <sighs> Typical nobles wanted to pay me off, not telling the people the truth! My boy. I live for journalism! If you do not shut your mouth. You're not the first person who's tried to bribe me. I'm under the guards. Alright, there. Hmm? <clears throat> I believe there will be a new article coming soon about Floon's Bruise. Stay tuned and cry louder. Will do! Keep going. Spectres and spirits, rat problem! Starts yelling about. (laughs) Go commit die. (laughs) Go commit die. (laughs) Man, they spread fast. It's been six hours. That's fast. That's that lady just investigates and then immediately is like, "Hey, boy, <laughs> I got some news for you." You think she told them? No. Mm. Floon's paying a lot to put us out of business. We did one well one day. Should Floon? It's Fern. Mm. Fern Bruce. Floon. <laughs> Floon. Floon. No. Deep. Those are pure innocent creatures. They're beautiful. You come Deep back should... and you see uh, uh, Floon Froon's bruise outside, and as you're about to step in your tavern, you just see. <laughs> You see Emic standing there, and he's just like, Hello, child. It's like from a distance, and he's just like, Who is Emic the guy that's paying them, or is he one of the them? Emic is the owner of oh. Froon's Brews, mm-hmm. and he's a, a, uh, he's a salty northerner. All right. And he, so I would, so he's, he's got like, like the... he's got ginger hair and like freckles, but no beard, and he's like maybe in his mid 20s, and he just, Doing like the Javert stare out of his window. Mm-hmm. But he's like giving you like stink eyes. Like, I'll look up and I'll be like. <laughs> D- 
any of us see this happening? <laughs> you, you look at the window and you see <laughs> Minecraft like doing Minecraft. this shit. Pointing at his front doing? door. <laughs> Wait, just watch. Just watch. Good gesturing. <laughs> this should be a play. We should write this. This memory, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And he goes back into the door and he's just like, and he shuts it. I think maybe tomorrow we should go as someone else. You could. I and one of your workers is like, Minecraft, what are you doing? One of us goes down. Um, some I don't civil know, disputes. Some disgusting. Oh. Put it in their and mind. practicing mimicry. You should I think so. try it. Mm -hmm. It's a terrible I think art. We should shut down. It's More their entire bread? business. Yes, mm -hmm. I agree. Really, no mercy. Do you want to know something about mm. me? Mm. I hate cheese. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, is this a human? Yeah, it's oh. just a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in goats, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> he works for you. <laughs> Alright guys, drink names. The haunted booze, tantalizing tangerine, lightning bolt lemon. These are good. You, you should work at the barrel house. <laughs> <laughs> These are much better than rat snack. Yeah, <laughs> you should also rename the foods. Yeah, I can't- I there, not... there are a few crossed out <laughs> no. that you, you see on, see on a piece of paper and one of them is just called <laughs> fart, cheese fart, shark, like poo poo stinky, and then it's just, like all across. You, you, you see me like crossing them out, and then like I get to new, I get a new piece of. There's another one that says the plank. we have rats, and it's, and it's also crossed out. I get I get the new I get, I get I get a new plank, and I start drawing it out, writing it out, and I'm like, can you guys think of any way to describe describe the stew besides savory stew? See, I'm good at drinks, but I'm not good at naming the foods. I also have roast vegetables, but. I mean, I can't think of... I don't think it needs to be clever, it just needs to be specific. But the drinks can be clever. Yes. There we go. Yeah. Because if I go somewhere and... Yes, if you try to be I, clever with the food, If I desire fried vegetables, and I walk somewhere and it says heated greens, I'm going to leave that establishment. Yes. Of course. I just want French onion soup. Just make sure that's on there. Oh yes, we should make that. What's this French onion soup? It's onions and uh, broth of some sort. I do believe usually we need to at least take one step forward in bringing our competitor down. Yes, we were thinking of a plan. We have several. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was thinking that Lucy and I could go in as someone else. One being a distraction. One being a distraction, and one sneaking down into the cell to well, um, tamper with their goods. I believe I would make a rather exceptional distraction, and yes, but your... they know your face. Exactly, that's why I'd be so distracting. Yes. They don't know yours. Do you think we should, uh... Sorry, I just look at... In... Sorry. Do you think we should I'm speak sorry. with Emix directly? Like... I would very much like By that, I mean, it. tie him up and, you know, threaten his life. Where's this coming from? Dark places. Dark places. Do you need to talk about this? No. Mm -mm. It doesn't have to be me. It could be anyone. Mm -mm. Are you sure? Yeah. We don't. Do you don't mess. You don't mess with our tavern. This is, this is well, yes. Terrible. That's why we're going to not. Own, we are not going to threaten his life. Mm -hmm. We are going to ruin it. Yes. There will be no precognition. He will not know we are attacking him. Ruining, ruining his name is. Yes. Just as good as killing him. Because yes, let's if, do that. Mm -hmm. We give him such a horrible name. Call him a murderer. Call him a fecal feeder. Yes. Not only will he suffer for the rest of his life, but his children will too. What if we planted the fireball necklace in his establishment, and then that lady goes and searches his place? He's forever considered a murderer. Yes. Do we keep one of the beads? Maybe just one. We there are two I, beads. Here's the thing, I don't know what happens um, when I take one off. Can I roll Arcana to know what and would happen? If, if they find this before Once the bead left the necklace. Oh, You've already to... rolled and you already if don't they find know. This before we I take don't them know. off. I'm not sure. Then uh, what's the chances that they just throw one at us? Hmm? Alright, you're smart enough to figure that if it sits on that, then it's probably it's probably fine. If you were to take it off, it's probably fine. But it's like a firecracker. As soon as you throw it, it's probably what it activates. I think if one of us keeps it in a um, container of some sort and doesn't let it fall, it should be fine. 
Offer the necklace? We have glass vials. Yes. Keep it in, Keep it in a your room. safe and secret location. Can you do that? Of course. <coughs> How does a berry fine banana sound? What's a Why banana? does that matter right now? We are trying to I'm ruin a man's life. Yes, and I'm trying to make ours better. Where do we leave? There is a time place? and a place for banana-themed beverages. It's also berry-themed. Do we have bananas? Yeah, they're imported from Chult. I don't know, I just wrote down things if you're cool with it. Like, it's fine. Okay, fine. We have uh, charmingly sweet chocolate, agonizingly amazing apple, very fine <laughs> banana. Like Agonizingly amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god! Yes! It's that's, so good! That's the point. Alright. Uh, Thanks. Alright, so are you guys continuing to search for the nimble rights as well? Yes. The what? Throughout the 10 day. Yeah. Going to different words. Uh, Maybe we, can, we can hold off on that. Uh, no, we cannot. We can't let another fireball go off near us. Well, no, that's why we do this now and immediately alert them. So, I will orchestrate this. Okay. I will enter and make a scene. Oh, I will the meat be truly horrended by every aspect of the meal I am provided. I need you two to find somewhere to put it. And the moment we have... Are you keeping one of these, yes? Yes, of course. Oh, and the moment Very gingerly pull one off. We Fire, uh, one of the beats yep. to the next. Okay. And I'll take a empty vial that I have. I'll place it in there. You... Get it as far as down as you can, and you drop it, and it. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> no, it just. Ding, 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 ding. The end of the game. End of the campaign. Put it away. All right. No. The moment we leave <laughs> to his brew, I need you to go and alert the authorities that we have found it in his establishment. I'm writing names. I also don't know when. When would that be? It would be best for them to do it. Just enter the case of someone Maybe else. Maybe should alert Barnabas now. Well, we don't want them yet. to see it when... Cause we saw them teleport. So, we which one of you is better at planting things? Thank you. Have really, any of you ever put any flowers in the well, Like, what's your... No. Stuff, actually. My... Continue writing names. My stealth and sediment. Sorry, that was better. <laughs> yeah, I'm better. That was a little bit of the top even for no, this that, character. That, 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 it wasn't necessarily low-hanging fruit. It was more like it fell off the ground, off the tree a week ago. <laughs> you picked it up and you're like, this is a joke. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What should I... Um, Grateful <laughs> You do always look good with, like, like the darker, so, darker hair. Do you do the fancy guy again? Fancy grape. guy. Or is that too... Like, it's your menu, please. Okay. Should I go for average? Dude, average. you want some beery okay. beer? And some very, whiny wine? Very, uh, How about some vodka e vodka? <laughs> Tequila, tequila. <laughs> tequila, tequila. Why is it called tequila, Wait, tequila? The because it's, it's the tequila is an adjective. And then the, the, the tequila afterwards is an adjective. Also, it's two shots <laughs> for the price of three. Not Shakira, Shakira. <laughs> Shakira, Shakira. <laughs> Get out of my apartment. <laughs> okay, so let's I'm probably the worst person you can give this job to. You. He just looked generic guy. I just looked an average guy. <laughs> <laughs> What's that just Michael a regular Cena? looking guy. <laughs> How about that guy? No, you need to be Michael Sarah. Okay. I am transforming into Michael Sarah. <laughs> Wait, he's an average he's dude. Michael Sarah. Yeah, I don't um, know why that's on. So, uh, are you ready? Yes. Yeah. You alert the authorities. Can I be shy? Or the investigators. Luck? Probably the yeah. investigators. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to tell them? What? Yes. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to be the sneaky guy. Yeah, no, he's be better at be... sneaking than I am. Well, then vice versa. Okay. Minecraft, you're currently speaking to Shia LaBeouf and Michael Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to die today. <laughs> One of them's going to kill me. So. I can't do Michael Sarah's voice. Gonna... No, it's, it's, the <laughs> it's so high pitched. Yeah. You plant the evidence. Okay. You alert the authorities, mm -hmm. the investigators, what mm -hmm. Barnabas, mm -hmm. I believe he is in the office, and I will make a ruckus to provide you cover and then promptly leave. Are we ready? Yes. I don't know. All right. This is 
risky. Are we going doing this in the daytime? Yes, there isn't a single risk. What? And am I? Where am I planting it? Behind the counter, probably. Okay, that's pretty tough. But I'll, I'll do my best. Or you could scale up the back of the building and find. I have an idea. Quarters. Yes. Might be a little suspicious. Casting fog cloud. So it's very hard to see me plant something. If he has customers, which some of us are probably headed over there. Someone might also just see me cast it. There will it's be like it's at least five witnesses who can attest to a mysterious man entering moments before. I don't think magic will work for us here. All right. Do you have Do you have mage hand? No. Now are we ready? Um, how far away is that district? Next door. Yeah, it's across the street. No, oh, the, the she's talking investigators. The investigators building. Barnabas is. How far away is it? Yes, it's, it's like a few hours. I think I should maybe take a cart. Leave now. Get there in about thirty minutes on a cart. That'll yeah. work. Let's go. So, I'm explain gonna, to me what you guys are doing. I'm going to wait about 10 minutes, and then I'm going to head off on a cart. You okay. leave our establishment, mm -hmm. wander for roughly three minutes, and then enter. Okay. 10 minutes from now, I will go, and when you are halfway through your meal, I will start a ruckus. Plant it wherever you see fit, and then we will leave. Okay. Do you see Ocean's Eleven? Yep. Nope. All right. They uh, they always do it where like they describe yeah. how the plan's gonna go, and then and it's, it's like happening. the yeah. scenes are going on as they're describing. Yeah. Very much like uh, in the Game of Thrones when they do the castle invasion. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. So tell me what you guys are doing. We just did. <laughs> well, t tell where me. You? Tell me, I'm gonna do this. You go first. Okay, uh, I'm probably just gonna kind of go back and forth around Troll School Alley for okay. a couple minutes, just sort of like looking at shops and everything. She's okay. already gone on the way uh, to. All right, and then eventually I'll just like kind of spot uh, friends Bruce and then head on inside, probably up to the bar. All right. Uh, there's a few people. Um, it's kind of this rundown, much smaller than yours tavern. As you kind of step in and you see a few patrons moving about, um, you do see uh, Faroon sitting, Emic, uh, as he kind of watches as you come in and he kind of eyeballs you. Doesn't make any contact with you, but you walk up to the counter and you order a drink. Yeah. All right. Um, it's a copper for a nail. Okay. Two copper. <clears throat> How much is my cart? Um, a silver. Oh, coach cab between cities is, uh, two, two, Six. in the city is like five copper. It's nothing. Um, we need about halfway through his meal. I'll walk in. There's a drink? Yeah, drink. Okay. You walk in. Look at the menu. Uh, uh, stews and, and bread and, and meat. Um, I'll order a stew. All right. Uh, you order a stew. Mm -hmm. You see Emic just watching you two. Us two? He doesn't yeah. know who that is. Who, who are you? Michael Slayer. <laughs> oh, fuck it. He doesn't even pay any attention to you. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you walk in, though, mm -hmm. and he, he kind of watches you step in. You order a stew. I would love. Do you have French onion? Or... Uh, French onion. This is the, the mm -hmm. bartender. Oh, uh, no, we've got kind of like a, a beef and carrot stew. I would love to taste that. Oh, uh, sure, sure. Um, they go and they make it and they, um, you, do you sit down? Yeah. All right, and they bring it out to you. Can I get a description of the interior, like people and just There's what the layout is? maybe about six patrons in here. Okay. They're all eating and drinking at different sorts of tables. There's a bar in the, at the back. Um, there's a door at the front. There's a door in the back. Um, and there's a pantry like yours. Um, it's about half the size of your tavern. Okay. Um, and there isn't any other stairs that go up or anything. It's who just are all a small the, who tavern. Who are all the workers? Is there a bartender? There's a bartender and there's two servants. Okay. Um, hirelings just serving food and whatnot. And then there's an Emix as well? Uh, and Emic is, yeah, he's kind of in the back. He's just kind of watching. Okay. okay. Is the bar like, um, sorry, I just really got to play No, that's totally fine. Totally is, is the bar like... Like a normal bar where mm -hmm. it's like one level and then there's another level where like the server makes the drinks and everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then on the back is there like where there's like bottles of, of yes. liquor and everything? Okay. Alright. I'll take And you're uh, at the bar and you're at a table. Mm -hmm. Alright. And uh, he brings stew out to you. It's a, a s s 
four copper. Okay, uh, I'll pass him off the four copper. All right. And I'll take my first sip. You, Emic walks over. So oh, gods above! They cursed this meal. It tastes like a man's ass and a rat's foot. How can it be tepid and burning at the same time? He walks over and he dip. Is that an eyeball? He grabs the stew and he says, "Put out of my tavern." Get that out of your tavern! Wait, wait, wait. As he's walking past me, does oh he come kind of, does he come kind of close to me? Huh? Does he come kind of close to me, Emmett? He walks, yeah, he walks past you. Okay, does, what is he wearing? He's wearing uh, a, a coat? It's like Xanathar himself shat into my stew. <laughs> the people are like, oh looking God. at me, like, what's going on? Have you tasted that? Roll performance. Okay. Um, he's Can wearing a, 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 like a cloak. Um, and he's got clothing underneath it. What? Can I get advantage? Um, no. What? Hey, 17. Okay. People are kind of like, what is going on? You're like making a scene. They're all watching. Yeah, and this guy like, comes over, he takes his shoes. He's like, get the fuck out. Tastes like shit covered tits and ass. <laughs> Who? Hey, he owns a tavern next door. He's trying to make me look bad. You own this one. And you serve me that. This is fine. I wouldn't wish... Anyone to taste that? He Not even to, you! He goes over to another guy and he's like, uh, yeah, yeah, try it! And the guy's like, oh, I'm not trying that. No. Like, it's it's uh, fine. Sir, you will surely die if you do not possess okay, my Okay, so what I was going to try and do is if... The, does he have any, like, any open pockets? Yeah. Okay, well, as he was going past me, I, I wanted to try and, like, place the... The, the, the pocket? Yeah. Like a sleight of hand check. All right. Do I get advantage because he's creating a distraction? Um... That is why I'm doing this whole discussion. I am going to say that his passive perception is... N I I'm going to say it's really easy. Actually, no, go ahead and have advantage. Okay. Nobody's really paying attention to you. Well, I'm going to use inspiration, too. If he's distracted, okay. then it wouldn't, it wouldn't be an advantage. It would be he'd have a minus five to his passive. That's how passives work. Yeah. So. Uh, if you're going to add an inspiration, just do a normal roll, then. Okay. Uh, 20 plus. Yeah, yeah. nobody notices. 23. You, you take the, you pop, you put, you keep me in the vial and just shove in the vial in or you He has it in the vial. I just have a bead. Oh, yeah, okay. bead. I, he, he has the bead on the string. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you have one bead and the rest of the necklace and you're just yeah. dropping that in his pocket. Mm -hmm. Nobody notices, notices you as you do it. And he's just trying to get you out of the tavern. He's like, hey, what? I just go back to drinking. Get the hell out. Nobody wants you here. I don't want to be here either. Then go! 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 Leave, please! Let the gods be my witness. He's pushing you I out. I will never step foot in this tavern again. And then... I want to roll constitution to see if I can throw up. Force puke? Yeah. Um. If I get below a 10, can I throw up? No, I mean, because the stew wasn't well, even bad. How do you <laughs> force puke? Like you can, like, you can, reg I re you can regurgitate just like, and then just spew out. You know. What type of check? Is Go that? ahead. <laughs> man. And con you would have to roll good on Constitution in order to make yourself. You have, have to, to roll good. Your, yeah, because yeah. you have to force. Because you're like your pushing your to body to try and do it. Eleven. <laughs> you're like I dry heave. <laughs> you're like. Ugh. And he's like, get, stop, stop! <laughs> he just pushes you out. He's like, get out. And he slams the door. Okay. And you're in there, and he turns around and he says, sorry. He's from next door. He's trying to make me look bad. Mm, Please crazy. continue your drinks. Crazy fools. He walks over, and he, and he sits back down. I, I just finished my drink. And you leave? Yeah. All right. Probably within, like, another five minutes. Five minutes later, you show up at the... What's it place in Haza? Uh, is there like a, a front desk type area? Yeah, you walk inside and you step into the front door. And uh, there's a woman at a desk and she says yes. Can I speak to Barnabas? Uh, you have an appointment? N no, I have uh, an urgent matter to speak with him. Uh, what about? In information on the fireball case. Mm, interesting. All yeah. right. She gets up and she walks back. She comes back and she says, yeah, Mr. Barnabas would like to speak to you. Okay. She uh, brings you back over to like the small room, and she opens the door and she lets you in. And you see Barnabas sitting there, this kind of crouched over, a short kind of fat human guy with glasses. He looks up and he says, "Hmm, um, you uh, know something about yes, I uh, think case. I think that I do. 
Um, oh, you were there. No, you're not. I, 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 you. look, I look not like. I don't look like. <laughs> Shia LaBeouf. Oh, you're like fucking Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf was there. I keep forgetting. Yes. Um, Who do you know? I was I was leaving um, a tavern on uh, Trosco Alley, the new the new one that had just opened. I um, I forget the name. They've just rena renamed it. But mm -hmm. uh, I was walking past the Flynn's Bruise, and um, in the corner of my eye, I noticed two men in the alleyway, and um, they were they were speaking about um, payment for an item. A, uh, a, uh, a bead that when you throw causes an explosion and the the cloaked man seemed kind of upset that he, he wasn't receiving a payment of some sort and uh, the the other man gave him a, a bag of gold and then uh, turned around and if I'm not mis mistaken it looked very much like the man who uh, owns the Flynn's Bruise. Emic Froon? Yes. Froon or Floon? I, I don't I don't know his his surname. Hmm. Yes. Very interesting. Yes. You heard all that? Yes. You have any proof? Um n no. Hmm. I mean you could investigate his 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 tavern, his home. Make a persuasion check. Come on, open. Persuasion. Um 22. Oh shit. Hmm. I've not come up with many leads. Alright. It may come up with nothing, and if it does, I'm, I'm truly sorry. Well, thank you. I, I just saw the bodies and I thought that maybe... I just know they deserve more than... He stands up, he walks over, and he puts on his coat. <clears throat> he says, I appreciate your uh, your information. Your, your tip has, uh, has been very, very helpful to me in my investigation. I shall take a look into uh, what's happened. Uh, you may leave. Thank you. Alright, um, you make your way out, um, and you, I'm assuming you carried your way back to yes, Troll School? Yes, and I'll, right. uh, I'll change my face back to Ari. Alright. <laughs> but not to Ari, the, to Micah. While, while you're in the cat, while you are in the, you're, while you're in the carriage, oh. you change and you get out, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sarah, as you return to our tavern, I will mm -hmm. take a bow. Alright. Mycroft is very proud. So oh. how did it go? Oh. Of putting what? up the new... <laughs> <laughs> the new order list. Well, wait. Did you see? See what? I I I I didn't know what to do. I didn't, I didn't put it in or anything. I I still have it. No, nah, I'm just kidding. It's in his pockets. <laughs> Turn your pockets out. Oh, <laughs> like I did. I'm, I, I, I got it. What was the point of that? Because I didn't know if you actually saw it. It's important for me to check my craft. That was actually pretty good. He now knows. Notice. how? He knows that he hit it well enough to where you didn't see it. But why did he tell me that... Why would you do that? I, I need to know if work. I'm losing my touch. But why would you lie? Because he was checking his work. I need to check that work too. Now he knows. Well, you succeeded on you. ruining a part of my day. Jake, I'm I'm very you know sorry. Can you let me know when I'm back? Hmm? Know when I'm back? By knowing that we have a ally sure. well enough to hide something sure. better than you can see. Yes. Well, I wasn't looking. I was rather proud. I do appreciate that. About 15 minutes later, um, Micah shows up. Hello. He's on his way. Um, oh, fantastic. Maybe we should wait. act busy here. Yes. I believe well, we, we should continue busy. removing the Look, cheese. I have a new, uh... Oh! Have any of the halflings returned? Not that I know. He's been here. Has anyone come? Have, have any of the halflings come in? <laughs> nope. No, I, they have not. Um, I'm pretty sure they did their job and left. Yeah. Well, I did mine with them. I'm gonna go behind the bar start serving yeah, drinks. I'm gonna go into the basement and then make sure I change oh, back I into can't. Lucy. Okay. That was going out of town. It's not very unlikely she will return. What are you guys doing for the rest okay. of the day? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Uh, working. Going to bed so I can go to the beach tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I so want to see. Can we see the aftermath of? Oh yeah, sure. Um. I actually stayed away. Okay. You unless uh, unless you need to think about it. Nope. Cool. You guys go 
who who goes and checks? Are you just gonna go over to Fruin's Brews or what? Like always gonna keep an eye out the window for. Per- perhaps it oh, be... you keep an eye out the window. All right. No, it's more like periodically we'll mm-hmm. peek out to see if the dude is like we're not like. He's, but he's connected but we're to the pe- guard. We're peeking yeah. to see if the dude is walking by at any point. You don't see anything throughout the per- throughout the day. Perhaps if he does show up, one of you two could uh, could yes. go in as someone else. To what avail? At about to make sure that it works. Five six p.m. About an hour or two later, there is a. Uh, a carriage outside of the um, the uh, the the tavern, um, a guard's carriage, and you guys see and you're like, holy shit, come look! Um, and you you guys all watch as uh, about four guards uh, bring out Froon in handcuffs and put him into the back of the uh, the the carriage, and they hit it off and they, they they drive off. Does it does it have bars? Hmm. Can can it go through? Uh, there, there's one little thing on the little bar on the back. Okay, I'll step out into the streets. Okay, you step out. Can I see him? He's not looking out of it right now. Fuck. <laughs> what just happened? Well, he got away without seeing me being smirk about it. He's escaped. You see, um, Barnabas walk up, and he uh, he goes over to a carriage. Sir, yeah. it, does this have anything to do with the events from roughly a week ago? Oh, uh, we don't know yet. Mm. But, um, Mr. Froon was uh, withholding uh, knowledge from the City Watch. Important evidence. That's terrible. Mm-hmm. I <clears throat> promise you that we will not do the same. Why would you? Precisely. Would you like a drink? No thanks. He uh It's on the house? I already got one. And he gets on a on a carriage and he No d- did you get it from there? It doesn't matter. Just they put poopy go. in the <laughs> things. <laughs> I, I, as a, as he goes off, Mycroft, sometimes you speak too much for your own good. Well sometimes That's coming from me. <laughs> I'd like to believe that if I speak enough once I've spoken myself into a problem, speaking will get me out. So, uh, with that, you guys head back to the tavern, close up shop for the night, and uh, we'll continue the rest of your journey uh, uh, into the next episode. <laughs> that was a game. We just got characters who withhold the necklace and knowledge of it from the city watcher guilty of a crime in Waterdeep. Hampering justice by concealing evidence can result in a fine up to two hundred gold pieces and hard labor for up to a ten day. Dang. Under right underneath the necklace of fireballs. So Dang, guys, it's not enough. So us putting this <laughs> we shut him down. He has to week. put up a fine of two hundred gold pieces in hard labor for up to a ten day. Dude, we made that's like I know how much money he has. Dude, oh, you, if you right. can't afford the fine, you have more a hard labor. I was gonna say you understand that like we and made can't pay we, his we as a group made eighty gold in a tavern twice the size of his oh that is bustling because it just opened. So he probably, Jesus. that's probably like a month of wages okay. that he's having to pay in a fine. He has a whole strategy against you guys in, in terms, <laughs> like a whole section in this entire thing uh, of Troll Skull Alley about what he does. <laughs> he just fucking got him arrested. <laughs> I'm very, he's I'm like, you're gonna play rats satisfying. and they're gonna, they're gonna have bad things going about them. And then you're like, fuck you, you're in jail now. <laughs> he's like, oh God, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was just asking for cheese and oh you my God. hit me for a murder of 11 people. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> like, yeah, he's a suspect. He might have he might have just murdered people. We don't know. <laughs> God. You guys are so horrible. I'm glad that we orchestrated all the horrible things that happened in this game that have nothing to do with like what actually is happening. Yeah. It's awesome though. It's so great. You you I use the game. I, I feel like every game we've had some weird little detail that we've done. Like we had the clothes, and now this game we framed a dude for murder. <laughs> I'm glad that 
11. It's working well with the group, too. Yeah. Like, none of us are like, no, don't do that. And it's like, okay, we're how horrible, do we do this better? <laughs> <laughs> let's fucking kill this guy. No, let's not do that. Let's just ruin him. Let's yeah. just ruin him. <laughs> so let's send, let's frame him for a murder. <laughs> Let, let's kill this rat person. No, let's oh put God. her in a barrel half full of sour <laughs> ale and throw her down the yawning portal. That was all Fuck! you. That was all you. What's this game going to so be titled? So was the second half. Huh? This, this one is still Fireball. Oh. It's chapter three, Fireball. Lame. Fireball and... Damn. Fireball and cheese. <laughs> cheesy, cheesy Fireball. Cheesy Fireball. Uh. All right. Join us for uh, next game, uh, which Probably still doing will be this. up uh, soon. So, um... Stay tuned yeah. for that. I'll see, <laughs> see you guys later. <laughs>